button. <laughs> I don't care if you don't even watch it. Just click the fucking button. Are you ready for this? It's another edition of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. It's a guestless day, so it's just me and fights letting it rip for the next couple hours. Um, we got Am I the Asshole? We got our voicemails. We're going to do a water challenge after last week's episode. This The dumbest shit hits on our podcast, on, on the internet in general. You know what I mean? It, oh, it's... It's just like... Like that episode, I went in being like, I wasn't feeling that great. We were we were um, skyping, and I was like, uh, like I don't even know what this is going to be about. And we probably end up having like our most engagement ever <laughs> because because. And by the way, my my water fountain thing exists. Yeah, I, I here. Okay, I want to come clean about something. I knew what you were talking about the whole time. I've seen that before. I just wanted to be an asshole. <laughs> I knew exactly what you were talking about. What the fuck? <laughs> that is the, maybe the most sociopathic thing you've ever done to me. But it is. You, you, I mean, this is this is frightening. This is frightening because I knew exactly what you were talking about. I'd never seen it in metallic. But I've seen it in like the almost like like almost like, the, like it belongs the in the ivory? Vatican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like it's like it's like they le had leftover toilets and they turned the, 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 the water fountain. Yeah, I've definitely like, this that. <laughs> see. Like, I can tell when sometimes it's happening, you know, like, for the sake of argument, for the sake of banter. I mean, hook, line, and sinker, though. I was like, this this guy's never fucking heard of this? I, it so how like, fucking sociopathic are you that you can just lie to me? Morton Middle School definitely had this. Absolutely. I was, I, you like, know what's so funny? Afterwards, I was like, we're from the same era. We went to, like, the same schools. Like, if you went to school in, like, the late 80s and 90s and shit, like, all those schools still had them from like the 60s yeah. when they were like, we need to have the men spit in places. You know, and the I, don't, I don't think they're used for spit. It, no, it, dude, it's called a cuspidor, which is a word for spittoon. Why a cusp? Why was it? Like, again, I knew what you were talking about. I don't think I'd ever spit in one. I think I'd stuck my head in them before. Because, like, you could also, like, didn't water come out of like the roof? No, or it, no, it like cascaded along the back. So you couldn't, people like, you fill up your water bottles. Like, unless no, you're going to, like, I know the, put the lip of your bottle against the, the, the. That's a new age thing. There are yeah. those now where you put your water but, bottle but, in. But there that's electronic. Stuff. And all yeah, that shit. Right. This was still just like the water. You put you push the button and it makes water cascade out of the other one. I think that uh, that I think that was back when like gym class was like you you get changed into a wrestling singlet and you like <laughs> you like do real sports, you know, or like when you were like if you're like boxing. Oh, you know what I read too? It said um, any anybody with like any sports where you're wearing a mouth guard, where you're just like saliva is coming out and like and the and the whole vibe back then was like you don't swallow the water when you're exercising. You're what's wrong with you? <laughs> I think I just got hair in my mouth. I, I the water. <laughs> Wish I had a cuspider. <laughs> 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 I hope you're watching on the YouTube because Spidelberg just just sitting here picking off his tongue. Like, no, and, and you haven't gotten it yet, no. have you? Yeah, it's still no. in there. Just give me the home at Yo, by the way, the way I just said that unfortunately reminded me of a video that has gone that uh, <laughs> the <Let's go>. the <laughs> Riggs tweeted it. Uh, I think it was the night of the national championship. Where I think he said it was a family friend, but like it didn't get many retweets or anything like that. What happened? That. What is this video? I don't know. It's about. like someone doing a stone cold entrance. Oh yeah, what that that guy was like, he was he's disabled, right? He was Mentally definitely disabled. I, it was like it didn't get a ton of retweets, so maybe it wasn't his thing because it was on the front page of Reddit the next day. So I would, what so I went this? back to check it. It's yeah, hit. It, but this the most fucked up thing about this. So does he say? Yeah, because he's a family friend delivering one of the best things. So like, but it's weird. It didn't get many. Get, someone must have just stolen it from here and then put it on the front page of Reddit, and or put it on Reddit, up. and it got to the front page. Yeah, it got six retweets on on Reese's tweet. But the fucked up thing about this, if you play the audio, it's a man who clearly has Down syndrome, slamming two glass Bud Lights together, shattering the glass into, into the pool, into a place, standing in the pool. At the end, they're like, "What are you, an idiot?" Together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Holy God. shit! Jesus. Oh, Bobby, God. stop! Bobby, stop! What's going with you? Do not move! Do not move! What is wrong with you? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? You know what? See though, he's mentally disabled. I like that. I like that because you know what? That's a guy. Despite his mental disabilities, he's just one of the gang and one of the family. And when you do something fucking stupid, what are you? Some sort of idiot? What are you dumb? Do you have a fucking functioning brain? Special needs classes growing up. 
Yeah, does he your, was. Does your brain function? Well, not really. No, at a lower not level. Not like yours. No, a, it doesn't. At a much less capacity, as a matter of fact. You get off my fucking ass I, I will. and clean this goddamn pool so I can do another Stone Cold entry. I'll be honest, though. <laughs> even by retarded people's standards, that was really stupid. Like, that I don't think really that's that bad. bad. I think smashing glass together. <laughs> I don't and he's just having the time. Like, everyone's yelling and he's just like, Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was like that was, don't move. <laughs> like, Don't move. That like ruined the pool. They had to drain the <laughs> yeah. pool. Oh, There's bits yeah. of glass all over. Maybe Caddyshack, drain the pool, bring Bill Murray in to eat a piece of shit. <laughs> like it is. What are you, dumb? <laughs> Amazing. I'm hoping that maybe that was what, directed. What are you, dumb? <laughs> Is, is is like you're drunker than he was to say what are you dumb to a mentally disabled person? What if what, what if, are you one of the stupidest <laughs> people to ever live? Like, what's no. your IQ lower than average? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what what would you not be deemed medically uh, mentally competent to stand trial or something? Like, Can you even give sexual <laughs> consent? What's the problem, pal? <laughs> maybe they were yelling at the guy who like gave him beers or something. Uh, maybe, maybe. I hope so. I, I'm gonna go with that. I want to live in a world where, I mean, where they're not telling mentally disabled kids, "What are you dumb? <laughs> what are you dumb?" I mean, that was. That was gonna get like a Reeves quote because again, he says family friend. Like, yeah, gotta get a Reeves quote. Like, who were they yelling at right. in the pool right here? A family friend. Like, <laughs> we, we we will get to the bottom of this. <laughs> we are gonna get to the bottom of the best waters. We have a blind taste test on deck. Uh, but first, that'll be more for like the YouTube viewers because you obviously got to watch that. Uh, so head over to the KFC Radio YouTube. Somebody DM me in my never-ending plight to get people to subscribe to the YouTube where I just debase myself <laughs> and just turn into your average street corner whore <laughs> and just beg. Somebody was like, yo, man, I've been watching the QAnon doc. How about that like fucking asshole from 8chan, one of these you know rejects on that doc, has like 295,000 subscribers on his YouTube. And he was like, I get it now. He's like, he's like, we're a bad fan base. We're a bad fan base. <laughs> the fact that that guy who is like a bad person who just contributes nothing to the internet has like triple, like four times what we have. And, and I can't get this podcast to fucking subscribe. He's like, I'm sorry. I, I truly am. We are, I think we are starting to knock on the door of 60. Thousand, so that, I would get that's insane. <laughs> We're starting to knock on the door of no subscribers. <laughs> Fuck, why must you do this to me? Why? Like, and the thing is, we know how many of you assholes listen to this podcast, right? It's like six times how many people are unsubscribed to the YouTube, listen to every episode, every single one of them. So just go hit the fucking subscribe button. Click a button. <laughs> I don't care if you don't even watch it. Just click the fucking button. I'm, I, 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 we used to, every everything we've ever asked of Barstool fans, they've done. But when Twitter started, Dave started out with like 50,000 fo uh, followers before he ever tweeted. It was just like, please click this thing. And everyone's like, okay, sounds good. Barstool fan, it's a cult. It's a brainwashed cult that we'd be like, uh, buy our merch and then jump off a bridge. And they'd be like, okay. And, and now I'm just asking you to click a button. And they just won't do it. <laughs> I want to confess that I accidentally just subscribed and I wasn't subscribed. This is the point! I, this is exactly the point! We have people who work on the show who are not subscribed! Okay. I didn't think it was a good time to say it, but... No, it wasn't! You should have kept that one to yourself! While we're doing confessions, I'm not subscribed. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm gonna fight you all. I'm gonna fight you but, all. Well, but, but I'm not allowed to. I'm that's my problem. I'm, I think that's my problem too. Yeah. While we're doing confessions. I have two counts. I'm not subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. All right. Per uh, okay. Everybody go subscribe. <laughs> where? Where? Where can I even find out? <laughs> How does one even? Let me. Okay. Let me search it. Let me search it, and we'll see. We'll see if I'm subscribed. <laughs> he will see. Moment of truth here. Let's see. <laughs> subscribe! I don't subscribe to my own channel. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You're all you're all the problem, not me. Mine is fifty-seven thousand like... in our world. That is putrid, <laughs> paltry, embarrassing. Fuck! I hate everyone on the internet. I'm sweating. The internet is a stupid place, and that's where we start today. Brought to you by Cuts Clothing. Uh, if I'm not wearing like barstool merch, I'm wearing cuts clothing pretty much every time. Look at this. This shit is so fresh. I still had a tag on it. <laughs> uh, if it's not, if it's not barstool clothes, it's cuts clothing because it's all, um, it's all just like that 
classic, sleek, modern look that will never go out of style. Cuts Clothing has everything from T-shirts to long sleeves to Henleys to um, hoodies. They've got the Henley top, the V-neck top, the crew neck top. They've got the scoop cut bottom, the elongated bottom, the uh, the split hem. They've got some some things with like very minimal branding where it just says cuts and tiny letters or it has their little logo with the pins crossed. Otherwise, it's usually just straight up clean on the front. Uh, and you can just mix and match whatever styles you want with whatever colors you want. Everything from, you know, just like black, white, blue, green, uh, white, tan, all like the the uh, everyday go-to colors. It's also like, <clears throat> I don't want to use this word because it's, it's kind of a pejorative, but it's almost Spanx for men-esque. Yeah, it, in the sense it keeps that, you tight. In the sense that like you just look in way better shape when you wear it. Yeah, you really do. You look Your like, arms always look fucking huge when you when wear it. When I put on yeah. that, like I think I was wearing it for the... Um, are you garbage? When they came on uh, Friday Night Pints, I was wearing a, a cut shirt, and they were like, "Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you?" I'm like, yeah. "Nothing. I'm actually really fat right now." Yeah, yeah. Like, but it, it is. Like, did you get taller? You've been like in the gym. Like, I've done absolutely nothing for like six clothing. months. I'm just in cuts and look fucking cut. It really does. It, it's it's kind of magical. And it, and then if you are in shape, like forget it. You look like a fucking Adonis. <laughs> it's it tricks it tricks you. Uh, if you're not in shape, if you are in shape, it just takes things to the next level. So uh, it's 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 been the the brand that has swept through the internet. As far as like the tech uh, industry and the CEO world and, you know, the influencer world. And now uh, certainly here at Barstool, we all rock it. So go to cutsclothing.com slash Clancy, C-L-A-N-C-Y. Get 15% off the only shirt worth wearing at cutsclothing.com slash Clancy. So the internet, the internet. Oh, can I say something, by the way? Yes. Um, I, I, the, uh, the thing just talking about like subscribers and stuff like that got me thinking about it. And I've recently been upset about something in that the KFC radio started before like podcast and stuff had like nicknames for their listeners. So yeah. we never thought about doing it. I know. And uh, You got a name for us? I got one. What it what is Chicken it? Heads. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What's up, you chicken heads? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, 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 we totally missed that, that, that wave. Heads. I like it. <laughs> the chick I mean it's appropriate on on many levels. <laughs> the chicken heads. Remember that song by I think it was Three Six Mafia? Do you know that song? Whoop whoop chicken head. It's um, great. It'll I be a great so. we will we will we'll, we'll come up with a little drop to put in there. It's 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 a good that's gonna be a that's gonna catch on. That's the chicken heads are gonna be loud and proud. What's up was, to all you chicken it's heads out there? Where I, was like, I, was like, oh, I saw someone like who like just started a podcast. I, I I honestly I it's not I don't even think it was someone at Bar, so I just could, and like they haven't put out an episode yet. And they're like, what should we call our listeners? I'm yeah, like, I'm like, all right, put the cart before the horse here. For yeah, second, yeah. Second of <laughs> we don't all, even like, have listeners like, yet. I don't even have. Fuck, we mm -hmm. got plenty of listeners. We don't have any fucking nicknames. And I was just walking down the street. I was thinking about it. And I was like, chicken I, I like chicken heads. So the motherfucking chicken heads go subscribe <laughs> yeah. to the goddamn YouTube. That's the other thing that drives me fucking go, go, insane. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we got We got to come up with our own chicken head dances. I love. I mean, those scenes in Arrested Development. <laughs> <laughs> With Michael Bluth just being like, fuck you guys. <laughs> it's a female who likes <laughs> cock. <laughs> Jesus that's, Christ. That's what a chicken yeah, head is. Not often you see cock thrown around outside of porn. <laughs> yeah, like, cock sucker sometimes, maybe. But just straight up Even cock. cock sucker is pretty rare nowadays. Yeah. But you just, just a straight up a female cock. who likes cock. <laughs> <laughs> How about you see Bob Why Fox? Why a male feet? who likes cock? Well, you know what? I feel like that's that's maybe uh, you know th th that was this is, this is from 2004. Yeah, this song was before gay people existed. <laughs> yeah, I think now I think if, if 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 Urban Dictionary could alter their their definition, I think it would say persons who yeah. enjoy cock. Yeah, no, ch the chicken heads are strong. The chicken heads have been great audio listeners for years. <laughs> just horrific video watchers. Just shame on you, chicken heads. Uh, the internet gave us a bunch this week. Uh, we'll start off with the dude who tweeted out, normalize friendship dates with, uh, with uh, all these pictures of him and his friend who were like, they were like dressed up and like hugging and posing. I did the Charlie's Angels pose. They were out to dinner, smiling, laughing. Uh, well, that wasn't a he who tweeted that. Oh, it was the girl. I, I'm 99% sure that was a she. That does make a big difference. Huge difference. Huge, because if a, a guy doing that is like, <laughs> I just, I want to fuck this girl so, so bad. It, it's a, oh, wait, no, no, you're right. It was a guy. You're right. Yeah, was a guy. I, yeah. Okay. That's, that was what jumped off to me. Like, Terry here, uh, 
like he wants, and she's a like she's a cute girl. Like you know, they're both like good looking people. Like he wants to fuck this girl. Uh, See, okay, here's my question <clears throat> here: Why wouldn't she want to fuck him? There, you are like like I said before, the like you are on the same level. You are both well looks people. wise. Yes, why wouldn't she want to fuck you? Because each other? who knows? Maybe he just sucks. He can't. The, the, why would you hang out and take these fun pictures? This guy doesn't look like he sucks. He looks like a hell of a time. I agree, but I it's, don't know. I don't know if you're if you're throwing around like let's go on friendship dates. You're probably not like the the type that girls are swooning for. You know what I mean? I, I think that I think <clears throat> go I back. Just, go to that first. Go to the um the picture. Yeah. The first picture, Nick. Yeah, where's his hand? Lower yeah. back. Yeah. Like these are these two people should logically want to fuck each other. Oh, he's hover handing. He's hover handing. Oh, so so maybe weird. not. That's very weird. The hover hand, the greatest hover hand of all time, Dave Portnoy and Sophie Turner. Remember that? Yeah. Do you remember <laughs> Sophie Turner? Yeah, like you not, say the word Sophie yeah. Turner to me and you, we're, I'm thinking ass model. I'm not thinking Joe Jonas's. Uh, I'm not thinking like Game I'm, of you're Thrones. not thinking Sophie Turner. Right, like right. there is a Sophie Turner who is mega famous and successful. To me. It's it's this random guess that ass girl who just fell off the fa face of the earth. It, it was her and someone else. It was like a, it was a three named woman. Um, mm -hmm. I think she also came that way. It was like when Dave tried to do like a singled out. Yes, remember that? And like they, yes, I think as Dave tells it, they just ended up in a hotel room together eating pizza, <laughs> <laughs> and thus was born <laughs> the one bite. Like, fuck it, I'm, it led to everything. I'm else. putting my money into pizza from now D on. Dave took a picture with this chick, uh, who again. So back in the day when we all did guess that ass, it was a scramble every single day to go on the celebrity gossip sites or just like the like uh, uh, other blogs, and we would find pictures of girls like. Uh, in the in the paparazzi, and there was one Sophie Turner who just had the baddest body. I mean, her ass was did not quit, and uh, and Dave finally got to hang out with her and took a picture where he was it a shoulder his, or bottom. His but either way, it, it, it was like it, it was like a full foot yeah. away from her. It was, it was like was he grew an crazy. Inspector Gadget arm. And was like I gotta get this thing the fucking far away from here. Which possible. is just so funny thinking about like who he is now. You know what I mean? Like back then, just like looking gross and like afraid to like take a picture with a girl. Yeah. And now it's like dog leashes and shit. But uh, <laughs> federal crime, <laughs> federal crime. Uh, but the but yeah, that's that's uh, that Sophie Turner. But the friendship dates thing, man. First of all, I, I if if I never hear the word normalize again, I, I'd be totally fine with that. We're normalizing everything. Normalize, not saying normalize. How about that? Um, but if you go the distance to call it a friendship date. Like that's just hanging hey, you know, out, my you, friend. Right. Just, I think I saw yeah, someone tweeting going. like, "Yeah, it's called hanging out." <laughs> and I think when you take it to the point of like, "This is a friendship date," I think I think that's somebody trying to be like. That's like when you when we see those dudes down bad things where it's like, "I need to make it very clear, yeah. I do not want to fuck you." So that's like, okay, we're going on a friendship date tonight, okie dokie, because otherwise, just don't fucking call it that. It's just you made it weird, like yeah. And, and also, like I don't know, people just don't. I guess the difference here. And they're all is dressed, they're up, dressed and up. Yeah. And shit. Like, like, I don't know. I just, first of all, I don't think dressing up is a thing anymore. I think that, I think the dress code nowadays is look good. Like, yeah. like, I, like we, I went to a couple like nice restaurants this weekend and like one of them I showed up in a sweatshirt. And I was going to say, like, you can like, wear like hoodies out I now. Look fucking, you can, don't get me wrong. I look fucking dope. Yeah, you can look good. But the, but, like, yeah, you can it, dress up like hoodies. You can dress up, you know, t shirts. You can. I, I was asked, like, as we were like get, getting into the subway, we ran out in Brooklyn and it was like, it's like, can you wear that? And I was like, you can wear anything anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. You don't have. And, like, and I think that's kind of been that. For, like, certainly after pandemic and everything. But like, it kind of started with Kanye, where like Easy was gonna be on runways, but it was like sweatshirts, like champion sweatpants, you know. Uh, so I think that's been brewing for a while. Dude, I ever tell you about the time I went to a kosher restaurant in the in uh, the financial district. <laughs> I forget the name of it. I went with my uncle, and like he was in town. This is like early barstool, and like he was in town. It's like early barstool in the sense like our second, our my second time moving here. Yeah, not ten yeah. years ago. Um, and, um, it was, um, it was a, it was a kosher restaurant where like, it's like, you can see into the kitchen for these things. So I guess you mm -hmm. can make sure your shit's being made kosher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we, we were at dinner with the two, his two business associates, whatever, two Jewish guys. And then everyone else in the restaurant, Jewish. Yeah, like, the like whole nine, yeah, right? because everyone's in a suit. Yeah. Every single person's yeah. in a suit. And you're wearing a hoodie. Bro, I had on a Kowloon hoodie, right, <laughs> with ripped black jeans. You walked in there like, then, that's right, I believe in Jesus, motherfucker. And, and a flannel tied around my waist. Oh, my God. And I was, like, going to the bathroom. I was like, 
these Jews think I'm a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> like I had, I had my sweatshirt all up. You can see tattoos. Tattoos. Like yep. I'm even getting buried in a cemetery, <laughs> bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> There was probably some kids who were like, wow. Hit me in that special section, son. I don't give a <laughs> shit about this. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if a, if a rabbi blessed it or not. <laughs> fuck your kitchen. Do me give me favor. all the pork and fucking all the salt. mix up a bunch of fucking pork and eggs. Put that on a plate for me. <laughs> but you're right. That, uh, short of a kosher uh, dining situation, I think you can wear that pretty much yeah, anywhere. And, and like, I mean, no one said, I, mean, I could wear it there. No one said anything. I'm sure they it loved just, it, but they're not going like, to kick you out or I deny was the you. Only, I was yeah. literally the only could person Could you imagine there, trying, oh, or no, I just got hot sauce in my eyes. Hell yeah. Fuck. Hell yeah. Can confirm, truff sauce, great in your mouth, horrible in your eyeballs. <laughs> um, can you imagine these days trying to like deny someone service because of their food, uh, because of their clothing? No. The the phones would be out in a heartbeat. You'd be you'd be canceled. Your your business would be closed in like a fucking day. Unless it was a mask. <laughs> and then in that it case, case, the phones are coming out faster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, short of like being fucking naked, that you gotta let someone in your restaurants. But the, yeah, these guys they're dressed up. They're doing like I'll tell you another thing. If we're doing a friendship date, we're not doing piggybacks. We're not doing poses. <laughs> we're not doing Charlie's Angels. I'm just gonna hang out. Probably get pretty drunk since we're not fucking right. <laughs> and, then, and, and then head home, which is great. <laughs> You know, no, by, no pressure. By the way, this is something I can speak on because this motherfucker went on friendship dates exclusively mm. for like a solid ten years. Oh yeah, it was. I, I can't imagine being a guy who who didn't get friend zoned for like a de like a period of like an era. You know, I like, like there, there, like I know, most of my life. No, well, I guess now, but but there was always guys. There was the friend zone guys and the the guys who were like fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there was guys in high school, in like middle school, who were like, "Oh yeah, that girl like sucks my dick," and I was like, "Oh, I do her homework." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like two diametrically opposed <laughs> opposed worlds, and like, and I don't think it wasn't like a conscious decision. It wasn't something that I like. It just you just fall it was, into it. It was just my fucking facial symmetry that really decided it for me. <laughs> I was I was a gay best friend no. before gay best friends were a thing. <laughs> I was I was the guy that like you the were guys the kept around. And they're like. Ladies love you, but they have they are just repulsed by you sexually. So why don't you I don't think so though. I I, I bet you if mm -hmm. you if you had the attitude that those other like I was always worried about like being nice and then they hate you <laughs> then they don't want to fuck you but I think I bet you if you if you change your attitude you would have been one of those guys but also like the guys I knew who like had sex weren't like fucking like oh fuck bitches I, like it was just like no but that's like, but hey, hey do you want to go they just they just they had, had the goal courage. to ask the question would you like to have sex with but me? I, yeah I, I mean like, you guys are brave right <laughs> at that age at some of the ages we're what talking if, what if to she be says like, no and then you have to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know what is, rejection is, is? Is your self-esteem not a hovering right there? Because I can't afford to know. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's, at, that's pushing me over the edge. Yeah. I'm at the roulette table right now, and if I play one more hand, I have to sell the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, so I know I, 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 I when to hold them, I don't the, fold them, and the, it's always fold. <laughs> <laughs> the the gall of being like an eighth grader and being like, so you're gonna suck this dick Girl, or what? Like that's crazy. Grade. I'm talking about fucking senior year of high school, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about eighth that, grade? Get that's the fuck what I mean, out of though. Here. That's that's what I'm saying mm -hmm. though. I knew kids who were like 14 years old. You know, I'm sitting here like. I remember in seventh and eighth grade, I had a quote unquote girlfriend who I never even kissed. <laughs> we like held hands and like hung out at like, you know, like basically what was like the equivalent of recess. Yeah, we school. slow danced to Britney Spears yes, sometimes. Right. We, we went to a Friday Night Live, which is like Friday night dances and like. Maybe we would grind. We'd to go a song. to public skating. And yeah, then, and I'd get there. And I'm like, skating I'm, club. I'm just gonna skate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing hockey stops and shit, cutting up the snow She'd on her. Like, hey, do you want to get off the ice and maybe go? I'm like, get a fucking run. Like, Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, I'm that's trying what I to mean. go kiss you in the locker room. And then like, there were other but guys. Want to see how fast I am? Is yeah, what I'm trying to show do you. you. See these fucking? I got wheels. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. That's why I'm trying to suck your dick in the and shower. I knew there were guys. You gotta catch me first. I knew guys who were getting hand jobs on the bus to skating, man. On a fucking yellow bus to Rye, Rye Playland for skating club. They're, already, they're, they're coming before I even get to the place. <laughs> who are these kids? How is that? I, I, I think the rule should be if you're still doing things 
like basically field trips to go skating, you shouldn't be coming. <laughs> you shouldn't. That should be. You know, it's too early. It's too soon for that. I can't even imagine what's going on now, and in, in like another decade, another era from now, another generation from now. But yeah, I feel like friendship dates are. Uh, you think friendship dates are on the rise or on the decline? Like with the advent of dating apps and all that shit, like I feel like people are more inclined to be like, no, I'm trying, I'm, I'm going I, out with a hinge date tonight. I imagine that it's a roller coaster type thing. Like they were on a decline for a while with like dating apps, and then people met enough people on dating apps and were like, like, these people suck. Oh, most people suck. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang, hang out with my people friends. I like, even if they're so a now boy. we're back up yeah. on on the friendships. Yeah. If I if I had to guess, we're on the, mm-hmm. that part, mm-hmm. and then we'll hit the woo. It's mm-hmm. coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, but yeah, either way, uh, you can do friendship dates. They're just called hanging out. As always, there's probably one person who wants to fuck. Right. And, uh, but it certainly shouldn't be something that you're like doing a photo shoot and posting it all over the internet. Cause that guy, I think that, that guy thought this was going to go very differently. You know, just like the person who tweeted, uh, how many of you have a friend that you've known for four or more years? Uh, Tommy smokes very eloquently said ev- everyone, <laughs> everyone in the world. I mean, there are like the, you know, the hopelessly lonely of the world, like the tragic cases who maybe don't, but all like everybody in the middle of the pack has a friend of four years. I, I mean, I, I will say even the tragically lonely do. I don't think there's a soul alive that doesn't have a, a friend, friend that's for four years over over four years old. Yeah, unless you are like four years old. But also, <laughs> I'm I must admit that I'm fast and loose with friend. You 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 you'll you'll. you'll Bring them into your circle quick. Like, like, yeah, I think yeah, I, yeah. there was a Dave Portner show the other day. Dave was talking about Edelman, and he's like, he's like, yeah. we're like acquaintances and we're close and whatnot right. and stuff like that. If you were him, you'd call him a friend. I'd be like, I'll call, call him now. I'll call Edelman a friend right now. Right, right. I'll call right, Edelman right. like three times. Right, yeah, we're buddies. That's enough. Right, like, yeah. Yeah, like and like, well, you know what it is? And it's not just because he's Edelman. There are just like there are people at Barstool who I've like never really what even you, spoken. Okay, what do you think is the what do you think is the qualification for friend? Like, do you have to text them? Do you have to hang out with them? Do you have to see them outside of a work setting? Do you have to? I think if you, if you, and this is this is the incorrect qualification. That people won't, people will not like this, or or not, not I'm not going to infuriate anyone, but uh, I think people will disagree. But like, if I saw you at a bar, and I hung out, would, would be like, oh, yo, come on over. Hey, yeah, you're my friend. Yeah, I, I think so too. But like, I also, you know, what's funny is you uh, could definitely do that with work acquaintances. But like, you're just yeah. See, hairs. work I just is say friend. Work you're is funny. Friend. Like when I was at Deloitte. There was that dude who I love him, Gil the garbage man, and for like four years we like hung out. We got lunch every day. We talk all day long. He like helped me with blogging and cover, like you know all that. And then like I think he, he I think he might have left right before I did or vice versa. And like if I saw him today, it would be like that. I'd be like, come over. But it was like it was after we split up from work. It was very clear that we were just like work friends, uh-huh. you know. But also, if I ever saw him, it'd be like, "Oh, what's up, dude?" Like, and I, I would, if someone ever said to me his name, I'd be like, "That's my friend, Gil." Right. But if they're talking like people about, in high school, I haven't spoken to since graduation. They're my friend. Like, yeah, yeah, it's my buddy. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll be. Oh, but like, then also, but then you have within that, you know, then you have like your circle where I feel like, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's a different level of friendship. But but then to me, with that, I'm like, I'm like, that's elite. You know, that's that's your best friend because best yeah. friend is a level, not a thing. Right. Like, you, oh, you, you can have friend, like, you can have like. Up to like ten best friends. Yes, yeah. I, I I probably have more. And I also so like I, when no, I, I when I when I got I'm married, I did uh, uh, my what's it called groomsman? Yeah, groomsman. And it was basically like I'm trying to think. I think it was everybody I ever lived with. Like that was kind of my okay. Like, that was like my my inner circle was like these are, these are guys that I like chose to live with, and then I had like two best friends from like first grade. But that was I think that was kind of like my. And not, not, it wasn't like a rule, but it was just like when I picked them, it was like, oh, these are all the people I've ever lived with. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't think I'd have anyone I lived with, but. Yeah, but yeah, you, I mean, you've done Ga- like, you've, Gaz you've, you've lived with like, This is like, we've lived together team. for like three years at this point. And I think Ellie, back in the day, asked him like, oh, are you in fights friends? He's like, not really. I was like, <laughs> dude, I've known we you for lived ten, together. Yeah. I've for 10 years, we lived together. But that's what's <laughs> funny is like, so uh, I think Dave was saying this to like the Chicago guys being like, you know. Me and Kevin and Dan don't like go out together and like get drinks and stuff like, like, but we're we're cool with each other. Like, but are you friends if you never really choose to hang out with each other? Like, Gaz was probably like, yeah, I do my thing, he does his. We're not really friends, but it's also like, bro, you, you've been like I, I an think, integral think, part think, of my life for I, years. I think people who people just get too serious with the word friend. Yeah, but it, but like, it's interesting. Gives it's shit. it's very like there are, there are different. Ways that like, people oh, look I don't at it. Oh, tell them my deepest, darkest secrets yeah. are not my friend. Like, I, right. Oh. 
I'm like, telling, like, like, you I'm know, tell my therapist my deepest, darkest secrets. So like, <laughs> it's a pretty high bar I, for I lie to everybody. <laughs> I, I, I don't tell that to my family members. My flesh and blood I'm not even friends are, with. They're the last people yeah, I tell. Yeah, absolute last yeah, ones I tell. Right. For sure. <laughs> I, I feel like, uh, remember way back in the day when uh, it was like one of my, one of my most well liked blogs was my friends who asked me to help them move. They, they, uh, they said, we'll get you some pizza and some beer. And there was three legs of the trip. It was like starting out, you go to Brooklyn, you pack up this apartment. No, you go to Philadelphia, yeah. you pack up this apartment. You come to Brooklyn, you pack up this apartment, then you come to Manhattan and unload it all into our new apartment. I was like, are you out of your fucking mind? I wouldn't do this for my family member if they were like dying of cancer. And you, are you just going to ask me to do this on a, sun, on a, on a Saturday uh, for pizza? How about this? Always say yes. No, I say yes. I don't think I've ever oh. said no to helping someone move out. Oh. Uh, I've you are a sucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Gaz, who isn't my friend, I moved that motherfucker out because he wasn't even there when we had to move. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> yeah, "This is the man who openly says, yeah, you're not my friend." And John's like, "Oh, I'll do the most strenuous thing. You want me to take all your yeah. shit out of your room? Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, your big fucking uh, what do you call it? You would be closing." Like armoire, thing. Well, yeah, yeah. big armoire, and your I'll move it and out. your bed frame. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it, the, dude. I help my friends move into Boston, and I just I sprint the whole time. Just so I'm like I'm eager to please. That, that is what's that, wrong with you? I don't know. I what just, is wrong with you? Just that's how you you're get the biggest over. god. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Sure, love to. <laughs> Validation? Anything? You like me? You'll say something good about me? Sure, I'll do it. Jump? How high? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh... Yeah, but I feel like that's also, I bet you a lot of people do like you because I bet you a lot of people would be quick to be like, yeah, fight some everyone except for guests. <laughs> because I feel like it's reciprocated, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. I just, just trying to fucking collect friends. <laughs> I just, I'm just, the opposite. I'm trying to pare down. The more people that I have to like, uh, like be there for, <laughs> help, <laughs> socialize with, I'm like, I got my fill of that. I'm, I'm all set on that front. I agree, but that's why I think uh, that's why I, I'm so broad with the friend scope. I don't have to hang out with you, right? Just like, okay. Would yeah. you would so, you would you say I'm a good guy? You're, you're basically friend. like friends with benefits of friends, right? Hang on a little more. Like you're not in a full relationship with them. No, you'd be like we're best friends, but you'll do some shit for them. Yeah, <laughs> like you <laughs> know, and and then you get like a, a title kind of out of it. Like yeah, we're something. We're not just like nothing. Yeah, we're. But, we're we're friends. Yeah. We're just, we're, we're just friends. We're friends. Yeah. You better fucking say it. <laughs> um, the other thing on the, the other thing cooking on the internet right now, I feel like we have two stories that are the, the opposite ends of the spectrum of uh, athlete life. It's brought to you by Simply Safe. If you're trying to keep your family safe, your house safe, and your belongings safe, the easiest way to do it, the most affordable way to do it, uh, and the quickest way to do it is to go to Simply Safe. They send you everything you need. They don't need to send out a technician or someone else to snoop around your house and do it for you. They give you the cameras, the sensors, the alarms, the sirens, all that shit. You decide where to put it. Uh, it takes like 15 minutes, 30 minutes to set it up, depending on how big your house is, I'm sure. Uh, and from there, you have 24-7 protection that gives you uh, police, fire, EMTs. They can stop burglaries. They can help with floods, earthquakes, anything that could damage you, your loved ones, your house, or your belongings. They are on the scene immediately. Uh, it's month to month, so you're not locked into any long-term contracts. It's no no tricks, no hoops to jump through. It's just simple security uh, that you need to have if you're if you put a lot of money into your place. If you have uh, babies and loved ones, if you have a lot of expensive stuff, I'm sure my guy Steve Cohen needs that. He's got hundreds of million dollars worth of art and shit. Yeah. He's got a Simply Safe going. <laughs> uh, so go to simplysafecom slash KFC Radio. Simply Safe with an I. S-I-M-P-L-I safe.com slash KFC Radio. You can customize your whole system and right now you can get a free secur security camera. So an additional camera for no cost. Also a 60-day risk-free trial. So try it out for two months and if for some reason you're not satisfied and don't feel safe, uh, you get your money back. No questions asked. That's simplysafecom slash KFC Radio. This video... Uh, I believe is of a true contender for most likable person on the planet earth. The video of Shaq in the jewelry store, just paying for some dude's engagement ring just because, uh, got me thinking that like, I don't think I've ever heard anybody like really hate Shaq. I feel like I've heard some people kind of criticize him on TNT that he doesn't, you know, sometimes the city says he's stupid or he's not like fully informed, but it's he, never any like, that's fucking but, like, hate that's that. fucking inside NBA. Uh, that's what it's called, right? 
T- NBA on TNT inside the NBA. Yeah, I think it's inside the NBA. Yeah, whatever, Ernie, like, Kenny, Shaq, you know Charles. Right, they they get like criticized for not being like it's entertaining. That's like barstool. It's, it's like right. I, I might get the stats wrong. I might get don't like, fucking like listen to me and go quote it. You know, at a legal especially proceeding. especially him like he's doing. You know, I I saw him get in an argument with uh who's the girl they have on the panel sometimes. One of the younger like I, the I've like bigger names, really but, it, but so he, he, he was talking about basketball like. Old school basketball. He's like, you know, back to the basket, big man, post up sort of thing. And she was kind of like, no, 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 man, like you got to do it this way. And he's just like from a different era that hasn't like adapt adopted. So you might have had some people being like, Shaq doesn't know what he's talking about. But as far as like, if you polled people, like, do do you like Shaq? Are you friends with Shaq? Uh, I think it would be as high as you know The Rock or any of these other guys who are always regarded as like the international like most well liked guys. I mean, he's he's larger than life. He's a complete clown, and he does. Remember when he's a sheriff for a while? He does the <laughs> movies, Kazam, like Shazam, the whole thing. Uh, no, he's Kazam. Kazam, Kazam right? Yeah. yeah, he's Kazam. Uh, Shaq Fu, the fucking <laughs> karate video game. It's all awesome. And then like stuff like this is genuinely cool. He just like he was, he went to the jewelry store to buy some earrings. There was a cat there buying his engagement ring, and the Diesel's like, "I got you, bro." Which is, I think, I think not allowed. What do you mean? I like, think you got to buy your own engagement ring. Well, so uh, that was kind of my next question is, I think would I think, you, so if you're this guy, you're turning it down? I mean, I'm not turning it down. You know what I'm certainly wishing I'm not, didn't happen? This not, going viral. I'm not letting it go viral. <laughs> yeah. That's for I'd be pulling sure. my mask up and my hat down real quick. Like, <laughs> nope, honey, that was not me. I did. I paid for that shit in full. The, I guess it's a cool story, though, where it's like. Uh, also, I mean, like, who knows? This guy might be like, I, uh, I like. Thank, I absolutely needed this. Like, thank you so much. Like, if you're down on your luck or whatever. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sure. I mean, I feel like anyone could probably use that relief. Maybe, yeah. But yeah. I think it's it's like uh, well, Michael Scott. You got to save three years of salary. And yeah. then and then you can fucking <laughs> finally well, afford so, to get married. It's so stupid. It's the dumbest thing we do. It's nuts. Buying the ring is nuts. I It's insane. Agree. I was thinking about it today. The amount of money that I spent on that and the wedding and things in the divorce, I'm like, oh my god, no wonder I'm broke. I spent it all on <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> like the engagement ring was so fucking expensive. Power like for there. what? I can't even say. <laughs> it's so bad. It's okay. so bad. It? it probably was like the the three month salary thing at the time though. But three months is like, isn't that normal? Michael Scott did three years. Yeah, three years. Yeah. That's what, no, I know. That's, he's mo- Michael Scott. It's three months real. is quote unquote normal, right? Yes, but I I think that. Should probably stop at a like everything else with Barstool. I think when you're in the middle, it's tough. Like I think three months salary when you're not making that much money is like you're getting a modest ring, you know. Mm-hmm. And then when you're rich, you know, you can get like the Kobe ring for four million dollars. It's when you're in the middle where it's like, ooh, I gotta drop like fucking like, you know, yeah, tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> 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 I mean, all I'm saying is, if Shaq was there at the time, I would have been like, "Yes, thank you." <laughs> and then I'll figure out the aftermath, like when this goes viral. Because so the move here, you got to go home and be like, "Honey, we've got the down payment on the house set now." Because you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you you can't just try to play this off. And then she hops on Twitter the next day and she's like. Wait a second. Well, wait a second. The you got diesel bought my ring? <laughs> yeah. yeah that, and you didn't so, upgrade it? Like, yeah. who the fuck did you so, put it back on the shelf? That's for? what's funny. Can you, I mean, I wonder if this guy was able to pick up on like what was going on or if it was just like he just swooped in at the last second at the register. Because if, if, you, if you start it picking is up very on the vibes. Smooth. Jack doesn't even fucking like, they didn't break stride. Just hands his black card to. Pats him on the back. Like, yeah, you go, yeah. I'd imagine this has to be like, he, he's, he's gracious. He gives a, a handshake. I'd imagine when it the, the topic was first broached, he was like, what? Oh my God. I hope at least. If that guy was just like, all right, cool. Thanks, man. I'd be like, all right, never fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. Pay for this to yourself. But I wonder if he was like, oh yeah, no, um, uh, let's let's go to the other case over there. Let's <laughs> let's like double that in size now because Shaq's paying for this one. <laughs> yeah. It's like you go out on a date. It's like, oh, you're paying? Okay, I'll have the lobster. I actually, you know, I think I've come around too on the I think it's a cool story. I think the you engagement can't ring turn it down. To, not saying it's a turn down, but like I like almost when uh, my fiance gets me an engagement ring, I'm like, you better pay this for yourself. <laughs> um, but the, uh, like, I think it's a cool story. Yes. We're like, Shaq bought this. Right. It's like, going to have some specialty of, to it, you know? I have a buddy who Lady Gaga named his son, and I think it's, like, one of the coolest stories. What, what's the name? 
Uh, so here, I'll tell you the story real quick. So he was in Vegas for work. I, I wasn't there. Like that. I don't, we don't work together. I work here. Um, and, uh, <laughs> it's not like when you started that story, I was like, you better have been in Vegas with yeah. him. You could have just totally left that part out. It's a story about a different person. You're like, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> I like to make it clear. Like, like I wasn't part of it. I don't like yeah. to say, take my take You're not take stealing straight. stories. Oh, no, yeah. I wasn't here. There's a yeah. story told to me. Right. And... Um, he was with like no, the CEO of his company. God damn, we had such that's such a fucking weird. Like <laughs> I have to let everyone know. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not trying to steal your story or whatever. It's like that is such a warped thing. It is, yeah. it is. But like people would be like, yeah. well, we, we, we tell that story for. Like, I don't know. It's just a good story. Right, happened right. to my friend. And so he was with like his CEO and like you know a couple of, like the big guys in his company. And I guess they were at a high roller table. Mm -hmm. And Lady Gaga happened to be there. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't play. He doesn't gamble or anything like that. So he was kind of just hanging back by the table. Talking to Lady Gaga's bodyguards, and they were just like, you know, just kind of shooting shit about life and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Gaga got up from the table, and she was getting ready to leave, so she came over to her bodyguards, and he just spouted off. He was like, "Hey, Gaga, you know, I was gonna name uh, my kid Charles. What do you think about that?" And Gaga paused and like thought on it for a second. She goes, "Make it Charlie and teach him the arts." And he was like, done. Okay, fine. <laughs> and so, like, on his birth certificate, I, Charlie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, that's a cool-ass story to have. Like, you know what? Gaga that, chose my name. That's such a great move by Gaga, too, because if you totally depart from it, if she was like, name him Nathaniel, right. you'd be like, well, no, I can't do that. But a little bit of a tweak, a and, and I guess, and he's teaching that motherfucker the arts. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's going to be, like, the opposite of, like, a sports dad. He's going to be like, get back in there and right. sing because yeah. Gaga said so Charlie yeah he's always sending me pictures of him he's always in like a meat dress and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps in an egg weird masks and shit <laughs> yeah. how about that move Rihanna pulled at the airport the other day I don't know. she was waiting online and she's masked up big black glasses and like a black baseball hat like I mean you could see nothing and, uh, Which is a real pain in the ass, by the way. What? Just gonna fucking say it right now. Not being able to see people. Really goddamn regretting buying some new sunglasses. You can't walk down the street with fucking you're fucking them up. It's infuriating. <laughs> Every fucking step. Like, you son of a like, anti mask John. I show up to work angry because of my walk to work. <laughs> like, I'll like, I'll like exhale. Like, can't fucking see again. There it is. God damn it! <laughs> so, I like, I'll hold my breath for entire city blocks. Just to, just to not fog up your glasses for so like can, four seconds. So I can fucking see just a little bit. <laughs> it is. It is, it is infuriating. I'm going to get a mesh mask or something. <laughs> so, well, she, she, I mean, she was, it was like she was riot gear. Like, you couldn't see a speck of skin even. And she's on line with someone at the airport. He's like this Asian guy. And... The video picks up like they probably they've probably already been like chatting or something. And she's like, he's like, can I have your Instagram? I don't know if he's hitting on her or what, but he's like, can you know, and she, she's tapping with her um, knuckles because and I think he says something like you can like use your hand. And she was like, no, 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 I got nails. Like, I can't do it. So she's just like, D -d 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 like bad girl. Re -re. And he's like, OK, cool. Oh, that's you. Oh, OK. And like, I, I don't even know if he believes it. And like, you can see like you really would not be able to tell it's Rihanna. You'd be able to tell it's like this swagged out chick. But like you'd really have no reason to just assume it's Rihanna, and I mean she's probably got what like fifty million followers or I would something guess crazy. At least. Yeah, at le no, I bet probably more. I bet hundred. Yeah, she's got to be triple digits. I mean, I, I feel like like she uh, does anybody get? I mean, I know she does like um, her Fenty and shit. I know that's a big deal, but like she just doesn't do music anymore. Hundred and what? No, bag yeah, that's at a hundred and something thousand, right? Um. 93.9. She's got to get that triple digits. She's got to get there. But I would, I would think I would do, I think I would do both like the Shaq thing and the Rihanna thing if I was ever just like ungodly rich. For all the right reasons, like this is just nice the way to give back, but also it's just like great PR. <laughs> what, wait, what's the Rihanna thing? What'd you do? Well, she just like, her yeah, I mean, she's just like, you know, talking to random guys and like kind of been like, oh, oh I wow. Fuck that. No? No. <laughs> I, I, I'd be more inclined to do the Shaq thing than the Rihanna thing. Bro, the first thing I do when I was getting famous is buy an invisibility cloak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great? Being famous, Fucking, the worst. Yeah, like, oh, it's so nice. Like, dude, that, that is like something I always think about it too, like with, um, like, my dad used to always tell stories like that, where like he'd have like two athletes he hated because they were mean to his friends. One time, one yeah, time. yeah, he, and he, like, he didn't sign the nine hundredth autograph. Right, he had it was to go exactly home eventually. That it was mm -hmm. like Kitseko and like I forget who the other one was. Oh, maybe Kitseko, Kitseko. Kitseko might have been right. On. Yeah, um, but like, I was always like, not always like, but like since Barcelona kind of got like, you start and, to understand it. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but but also like, 
I, I start to understand it because I'm like, yeah, there's some days I just really don't want to take a picture. Some days I really don't want to fucking be at a bar with a stranger or whatever. Mm-hmm. But also, I've never said no. Now, granted, you know, Jose Canseco in his height. I mean, actually, Way different. I believe Canseco was in Pawtucket. So, fuck it. <laughs> it, was, it was well past his it, time. It was like yeah. people. This is actually, fuck it. This one's a dickhead story where, like, it was like kids outside McCoy Stadium. And like they're hanging out in the rain, yeah. Like waiting to see Jose. Like he's you're, on a rehab you're, you're lucky that anybody even wants to still see you, bro. You know. And then like someone came out, so like a, a Paul Sox employee came out and was like, "Just so you guys know, like Jose knows you're out here. He's not coming out until everyone leaves." Ugh. So it was like that's kind of a dickhead. Yeah. Thing. No, he. I mean, he's but he's also, a bag of trash. I will but, defend but like those I ideas also, and things where it's like, dude, I just just not today, right? right? Like I'm I'm sorry, but like I, I'm. But I also do think when you when you really make it and you're talking about like ungodly wealth. Like again, I think the middle is is where it's tough. Where yeah. it's like, you know, I, I really like the money and the and the perks and the shit really doesn't offset a lot of the bad right. stuff. And so now this is just a headache on top of it. <laughs> Whereas if I was ever like super rich, I think I'd be like, all right, I can hang out for whatever. But there is always gonna be like a I can't be here all night, guys. Like, <laughs> you know, you're a baseball player and there's like hundreds of people waiting, uh, you know, and you gotta like go home. It's like I just can't fucking you know, do all this, but I've been hearing uh, since DMX got uh, like in the hospital. There's all these wild stories about him that it's like he was such a uh, like dark dude, and obviously like a lot of demons, and sometimes would like. There's always stories of like the the DUIs and the shit he did, crazy shit with his car, and like there's stories about him. People like I don't know no, any of these. He, I mean, he, I, I he, the dark. He, I he one time, that. he one time, he was driving around in a car. That he got like hooked up with police lights, and he like pulled somebody over. <laughs> they were like, they were like, and he, this is after like numerous DUIs and shit. He's one of those guys like Tiger Woods that should just like never be behind the wheel ever again. <laughs> yeah. And I think he like pulled somebody over. And the way he was telling the story in the Breakfast Club, where he was like, nah, like that story, that story was like overinflated. That was that was overhyped. Like I just like we, we were like mixing it up. Ah, nah, I did pull him over. I I did ask for his ID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but there's all these stories coming out. Um, about like the good side of him, he he was uh, on tour with Jay Z, like on the uh, Hard Knock Life's tour. So he was like b- blowing up and like not quite there yet. I think so. He was I think like maybe even opening for Jay Z, and he couldn't get to Pittsburgh because I think of either uh, either he was having issues or it was like weather or whatever. And just like the next night, he like threw another concert. He like went. It was in Pittsburgh, and he like got the arena to like I guess it was open or whatever. And he was like, just come back and I'll just do another concert. Really like cool shit like that where it's just like. He uh, like when you when you hear you say, like all the like that, you've been telling those stories like all along, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like all the cool stuff's coming out now. There was a a girl uh, who had a Twitter thread, like this like tiny little white mom who was going on vacation with her daughter yeah, for like I her eighteenth birthday. It wasn't her, I think it was her niece or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and she and sat it was, next she graduated to college. Right, and, and it was like it was pick like, one place and I'll take you San in Diego, San Diego. Yeah. And like I saw that one. And she was a social media manager and DMX invited them to the to the concert and like rolled out the red carpet for them. Like all this really really nice shit to just those stories were never told. Mm-hmm. Maybe even of his own design because he wanted to be like this like dark like scary dude. But you hear like the good side of him, and it's like, oh yeah, this guy's. Did you that video? The story of him getting like tricked into being an addict is one of the most heartbreaking things ever. He was 14 years old, and like the dude he like looked up to the most, like his like mentor on the streets or whoever he hung out with, uh, rolled a blunt and like passed it around, and he just laced it with crack and never told anybody. And he was like, that was when the monster was born. Like I got addicted to crack like right then and there. 14 year old kid just like, he's like sobbing telling the story, which was just, like I had no shot after that. It's like, oh. Fuck that, that dude! Like that's that's like murder to me, you know. Like you yeah. ruin that guy's life now. It's crazy, but uh, but yeah. I mean, as far as like the nice, and then on the other side of the spectrum, you have like the Deshaun Watsons of the world, who are just like one of the, one. Of, I think one of the more like kind of vulgar, nasty abuses of celebrity. Uh, on the you know like obviously like the Harvey Weinstein's are, like the worst, mm. but what's going on here is just like oh man, that's just fucking. Grimy, he's man. also like he's finding like people who he's what he's doing is almost kind of like it's not like shattering dreams because that's over dramatic I feel like although I guess it isn't because I know one of those women yesterday who was speaking out said that like she can't be a massage and masseuse anymore mm-hmm. she like she like shakes and like all yeah, that yeah, stuff. yeah 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 so like, I guess like shattering dreams isn't an over exaggeration but like. Like someone you like get the I call imagine from he's Deshaun finding Watson. people on Instagram. Yeah, like holy shit, Deshaun, and, and that, like, that, and that's that to me is already the red right? flag. Where it's like this, he has a whole 
training staff that could do this for him. Mm. And you're trolling Snapchat Perf- like and, of, and like Instagram. The, the best of the best. Like right. You get the, a, the me- like the medical an masseuse. Athletic trainer you know? masseuse. Like right. You but are. you know what they're not going to do? They're not going to fucking finger your asshole. <laughs> so he's hopping on the on like social media. And yeah, they're probably thinking like, I get in with this athlete and you know, here's my card. Refer it to this guy and this guy. And it's like, mm. no, no, no. This guy just wanted to treat you like basically like a hooker. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, afterwards, like, you have to sign the NDA, and if you don't, like, you're pressuring them to not talk about it. It's just, like... He had them sign NDAs after. He would, he would like, ask them to or, like, demand them to. I guess I, I would, like... And, and, you know, I've never found myself in a situation, so it's easy for me to say sitting here at this desk. But I'd be like, yeah, no. Like, I, like yeah. How, how big... I guess what kind of payment would you take? Like, was he paying them off right then and there, big time? I don't know. I don't even know if it was Because if it was just, yeah, if, if it, it was, was just, just like, like, here, sign this. I'm yeah. Like, well, no. Yeah, there's no <laughs> reason. To, no paperwork for this. Yeah. yeah like, but, I mean, it was also, I, it started out. I guess you out, could be intimidated, right? I, I'm, again, I've never been in that situation. What I, the reports I was reading was, like, it was way worse than I thought. Because I, I thought he was just, like, into some weird kinky massage shit where it's, like, just dude, just go to the right places. Mm-hmm. Like, you can do that. But then there was, like, he would just take, he was, like, take his dick out and he would like touch them with his dick and grab their ass and like it was just like oh okay never mind this is way worse than just like you know I want you to rub my asshole <laughs> which is not good either but the other shit was like and it's just I feel like it's gotta be he's gotta be done right I mean or, or like done for like a little while or like you, you go on hiatus or does, that, does he just go out there every Sunday and just like well I'm gonna play ball it's one of the, I, I, assuming he doesn't get like you know legally arrested or whatever like there's a true Punishment. I don't think you can go in front of a, the press every day. Like, right? I mean, it would just be like, what are you doing like out here when you're a fucking you know, predator? Right, like, every time. Ask you about playing the Bucks. Right. It, it's going to be... Every fucking time. You're like, okay, what are you doing out here? Like, yeah. And like, It's actually crazy. Did Kobe face questions like that when Kobe shit was going down and Kobe was flying back and forth from Eagle to LA? Yeah. To play game? Like, where people were just like, yeah, this is cool. I, like, Kobe was on trial for rape. It's and he was. He I know was, we can't really say it anymore because he died. I know, but, but like, it's like no, those are fucking was on facts. Trial for rape, and it was just flying, like taking private jets back and forth to play in NBA games. Right, that's bananas. Yeah, like you see him in in a suit in the fucking courtroom. Like he, I mean, if that happened, even just a couple years later. How like, many years that, later do you think? Because I think I think it's it was pretty early. I think it's many more years later. I think was like it like oh like four ish or something like that was it? I would say it would take a decade for yeah. a big deal. Yeah, probably. I mean, it was only when like you know Me Too started, which right. was like mid two thousand tens, right? So yeah, probably like, yeah, probably more than a few years. But man, what a difference five ten years it's, makes. I, I I don't think you, you can't you can't just trot him out there. Again, yeah. like as long as like this goes to well, trial. Well, and, I almost think the best thing for the he's, for the Texans he has said the whole time this is going to trial. I feel like he's starting to regret that stance. Deshaun Watson said that. Yeah, it's going to go to like, trial. Like his his first statement after I think Busby had one. Um, accuser. His name was like, this is absolute... Like, he, I'll it was, clear it my was name. Strong. I want this to go it to trial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. He was like... Which is... Was, it just shows how delusional maybe you are where you're like, you don't even realize that it's like, oh, doing. yeah. But I mean, the, I think the best thing that will that could happen for him is an NFL suspension where it's like, we for the... I guess I should say for the Texans where it's like, we can't put you out there. Goodell suspended you. Yeah. But if it's not like that and it's like up to them, they're going to... I mean... It's gonna be like, well, all right, we either have you know no quarterback, and we're like the worst team in the league, or we have to face, you know, like if there's not an official legal thing, if there's not an official suspension, and it's just up to your morals as an NFL team, usually that does not. <laughs> usually they do not do the right thing. So, um, all right, that's uh, that's basically what happened with uh, baseball in Georgia. Bro, what is I, I, this? This whole thing's passed me by. What what's happening here? Uh, I, I honestly don't even know if I should have brought it up because I am not educated enough to speak. Let's do a it. water test instead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That's more our speed. Let's, let's do a little water drinking. Brought to you by Movement. Join the movement today. It's summertime, springtime. Summer's almost here. Uh, baseball's back. You're going to be out at the ballpark. You're going to be maybe heading to the pool during the summer, the beach, the lake, out on vacation. Even if you're just driving, going out to see the sunset, whatever it is, you're going to want a new pair of sunglasses. You're going to want to look sharp and match that to your watch. And you're going to want to all do it for an affordable price. That's what MVMT provides you with glasses and watches. Can I tell you about the swaggy ass sunglasses I got for movement? I, I cannot remember the name of them, but they're like fucking. They're like the Benjamin Franklin spectacles, yeah, aren't they? they yeah, they fucking pop up. Yeah, oh, um, they do. Yeah, they pop up. Are you gonna wear them flipped they up? Pop down. Of course I'm wearing them. Flipped up. Up. You think I got a pair of fucking flip up sunglasses to not wear flipped up? <laughs> you're gonna. What are you nuts? You're gonna be like the, the asshole baseball players who have the sunglasses on top of their hat and yeah. they lose a ball in the sun. Yeah. You're gonna be driving in, in the fucking in the middle of like this like sundown. Yeah, like, guess ah, it's not gonna see. fog up though, son. <laughs> Actually, I think regular glasses fog up too. I imagine, right? 
I think everything fogs up, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, it'll fog up. <laughs> <laughs> I like the hide. Uh, that's been my choice for a long time now. I had the weekender for a while, but these, ones, these cool ones were a new spot. And I was like, oh, this this flip up, this yeah, is different. Yeah. And I don't like to be different, but I don't like to be the same. You like either. to be different. You like to be different. <laughs> no. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, right The there. Rory Kramer Vision <laughs> Signature <laughs> Shades. Yeah, those are Fire. Like like the last person to wear those was John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> Movement's got it all, man. Those it's all affordable. My nose looks so big. I'm gonna <laughs> love it. Huge. That's as uh, th- those are 125. But that's a, the uh, most expensive it gets. Everything else is, uh, is I think under 100 bucks. Same thing with the watches. I think most most of the prices is uh, 95 bucks. Um, the Revler is a good pair too. I, I co-signed the Revler. So all sorts of different uh, shades, frames, colors, lenses, the whole nine. Um, and you get the watches to match, so you you know make the outfit pop a little bit. Go to mvmt.com slash KFC. mvmt.com slash KFC. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns, but you're not going to return a fucking thing. You're going to like it. It's mvmt.com slash KFC. It's the KFC Radio official water challenge. So yeah, This is podcasting, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, so here's the fucking thing. You guys want to hear me take a water test? You have to go watch this on the fucking YouTube. If you, if you sit and listen to this, you're an asshole. So just head on over to the fucking YouTube. So we did the episode last... Uh, uh, we did the episode earlier in the week with the top five waters, and I said that sometimes I think the Dasani hate is overrated, although I have since heard that they straight up, if you look at the ingredients, it says salt. <laughs> so maybe I'm wrong on that one. Salt is tough to put in water. So we have Also, by the way, your fucking thing, your Poland Spring thing. Yeah, those are all places in Maine. Those apparently. are all in Maine, motherfucker. Pff, whatever. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I, I saw Denmark's that, not in Maine. I saw that and was like, ah, shit, he's right. They're blot on different places. I, I can't believe All you. of the spots in Maine. I can't believe you conceded that quickly. I know, me too. Because I wasn't sure either. I was like, I'm just going to roll this. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal right now. I'm going to say a few things. There's a lot. There's a lot. Six now, waters. Now, you didn't tell me what waters are here. Yeah, you got to at least know yeah, the yeah. brands. Yeah. You don't, don't tell me the numbers. But also, as I touch this, I am concerned that they're all cold. That matters. If they were all warm, I would be better. Okay. I would be more accurate if they were all warm. That is true. I feel like, you know, you can taste things yeah, more. So it's like, cold. Just, it's you, cold. You, yes. Cold yeah. is a taste, for yeah. sure. Okay, yeah. So we have a set. It's basically most of the ones you guys said, or most of the ones you said, actually. Um, is there so a cup have... of hose water? <laughs> so, yeah, I did, couldn't get that one. Uh, Dasani. Obviously, like you said. Uh, Smart water, life water, body armor water, uh, Poland Springs. And I think that was all. You're going to be able to differentiate between these? <laughs> Fuck no. No fucking <laughs> shot. No uh, shot. My thing... <laughs> I I, I, I want to see do do them all. Okay. But I want to see if you can just get Dasani. Okay. Because if, if you can if you can if you can tell the difference between smart water and life water, like <laughs> you have you are a water kind of. It's not fair that they're cold. But all right, here we go. And the thing is, and here's the the difficulty about being a, a water sommelier. Nothing to cleanse my palate. I'm right, just going kind of water go. to water. If mm-hmm. I had maybe a couple of strips of ginger over here, that would have helped. But we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Just tastes like fucking water. <laughs> All right, number one. Pass it over here. Let me hit that when you're done. Number one is smart water. <laughs> no, no. That's just, okay. just write it down or whatever, though. Yeah. Like oh, we've, no, no, every no. time we've done this in Barstool history, we've fucked up yeah. the numbers and the recording, so... I'll be wildly impressed if you get one of these right. <laughs> I mean, I guess by, just by the law of numbers, you're going to have to get one or two right, but this is insanity. Okay. Wait, yeah. Can you dump the bottles out just so I can see? Yeah, that's right. Uh. <laughs> All right. Number one, smart water. Number two, Poland Spring. <laughs> just it's just what you looked at. Whichever one yeah, your eyeballs pulled, hit. I just pulled them out. And All right. What's this? Number three is body armor. That one I'm sure about. That might be body armor, because that tastes like what I was just drinking before. But so did the first No, one. number four is smart water. Number one is life water. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> switching those? Switching those? Yeah, oh yeah, switch those. That's, That's a guarantee. Dasani. Dasani. Five is Dasani. Yes! 
Five is Dasani. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell any of them. Hang on. Hang Six on. Is Dasani. Six, Six might be Dasani. Five might be Essentia. That's what I think we're going. Six is Dasani. I mean, these literally all taste exactly the same. All right. This is that, my point. Six Dasani. Five Essentia. Four, whatever I said. Three, whatever I said. Two, whatever I said. One, whatever I said. Wait. Six was the Sonic. Six is the Sonic. Okay. All right. Am I saying this live? All right. Yep. Yeah. So number one was Life Water, so you switched that with Smart Water. Woo! So you got that. Number two was the Sonic. You said it was Poland Spring. Okay. Not two water, my point. Two Water's not on my list. Two Water's I no, don't no, think no. are very good. But this is my point. Poland Spring is is regarded as the freshest fucking from the babbling brooks yeah. of Maine, <laughs> and you mix it up with the salt water. Uh, number three was Body Armor, so you got that one. Yep. Then Smart Water, you got that one. Pretty and, good. And then, yeah, pretty Something impressed. Like four, four for six or something? You got, th you got three out of six. You get, and then Incredible. It was... I mean, uh, all by luck. Five, right? was, five was Poland Spring, you said was Essentia, and then the last one was Essentia, and you said it was Asani. Okay. So, yeah. Don't get me wrong. 100% luck. No, we, not if, luck. If we, if we line was, it up and do it again... The confident switches was like, wait, no, this is the one I thought it was. I was like, oh, hang on, this that's, is that, fucking That's what water. I mean. That's ridiculous. That, no, that, was, that was... I know my waters. I know my... <laughs> Look, batting 500 is not too bad for fucking... Six bottles But you've got Dasani wrong. Uh, I remember everything I was impressed. Yes. Pretty good. That's luck. That's not luck, no, motherfucker. No one's that lucky. <laughs> you got Dasani wrong. <laughs> but but it was, I got both. What kind of, wa I what kind knew, of water sommelier doesn't know the worst tasting water in the world? I knew my waters. But that, but your waters, you should be able to differentiate from the worst tasting water on the market, and you couldn't. And you the the two, those two are my waters. The whole point of the thing was that you said that you could, could taste Asani. Yeah, well, we're changing, the, we're moving the goalposts, relax. <laughs> Jackie, shut the fuck up. Go subscribe and stop ruining my argument. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. can do this do again. Do an awful lot of talking for someone not subscribed to this YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> You're not which which one is Dasani? I'm not allowed to be described. Subscribed. I'm not allowed. Three was Dasani. Was two. two. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I with with it in my mind. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm like, you know, there's like a little bit of a tinge and a little aftertaste, but but I, oh I yeah, did. yeah, <laughs> really hits you there. <laughs> which was my body armor? That's what I want. Uh, three. three. Give me that yeah. <laughs> Can I take another body number two, please? Actually, um, all right. I mean, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Three for six. I'm pretty solid there. I I I'll give I, it to you. I got my waters. Yeah. Uh, I, again, all by luck, but whatever. <laughs> am I the asshole? John's certainly an asshole. Let's Thank get you. into Am I the asshole today? Am I the asshole today is brought to you by uh, Barstool Golf Time. It's a free app to design to uh, help you book tee times at all the courses uh, in your area. Thousands of courses to choose from. Uh, your local spots uh, will help you get uh, a tea time with you and your boys. Uh, and after you book, you take a picture or a video on the course. You can submit it for an official review. Riggs, Frankie, Trent, Lurch, they'll review uh, whatever picture and video you take so you can join along with your friends and follow along with the foreplay guys. All sorts of other cool features. There's also Barstool Golf Rewards to get free merch that'll be coming out. So download the Barstool Golf Time app today, now available in the golf store. Am I the asshole? What do we got? Title-wise, this maybe is my one of my favorite ever. We'll see how the story holds up. But am I the asshole for no longer making my husband sandwiches to take to work after discovering that he was selling them? Female, 33, husband, 37, works at an advertising company. We're struggling a bit financially because we're saving up to purchase a new apartment. He is used to eating fast food, and it was costly. Awesome. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, he had no problem There's spending money daily bitch. on fast food, and after doing the math, he spends more than $300 a month on just fast food, $20 daily. We live in an expensive area. I told, uh, I talked to him about it. He agreed that, he, that I would make sandwiches for him to take to work. That way he eats healthy, and we spare money for rent. Everything was going well. I noticed he wouldn't respond when I asked whether he liked the sandwiches I make, but he kept asking me uh, make more than two since he was hungry. Yesterday, he came home with his friend and coworker. We sat at a dinner table, and the friend brought up the sandwiches I make for my husband and how delicious they are. I thanked him, and then he said the price was a bit much. I was confused. I asked him to explain, and he said that my husband sells the sandwiches I make to his coworkers, then goes and buys his own lunch from the restaurant. I was stunned. My husband denied it. 
I began arguing with him after that, after his friend left. He said there was nothing wrong with it. I told him I will no longer be making him sandwiches if he's selling them to buy fast food. He defended himself, calling this an overreaction since he's not spending money on fast food, and said I was being unfair to start an argument over this. I just walked into the bedroom and stayed there. Uh, I said I owe, uh, and then he said I owe him an apology for God knows what, and he didn't think that it was acceptable of me to lash out and say I won't make him sandwiches anymore. <laughs> now, I was almost on his side, because I was going to say if the problem is money, and he's out here hustling and selling them, then technically, this is actually a stream of income. But if he's just if it's just robbing Peter to pay Paul, and he just goes buys <laughs> yeah. fast food, bro. If you're like, okay, first of all, you're kind of the asshole if you're making your husband four sandwiches every morning and being like, "Who's a growing he's really boy?" Hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just needs you know a fucking pound of turkey every day. <laughs> like, I mean, what you is can't that? possibly be saving money with that. <laughs> right, right. Like I'll take. I'll just, that's like, yeah. That that's not that. Four sandwiches has got to be like 20 bucks a day. Motherfucker just starts <laughs> reading her a notes app every morning. I'll do one meatball sub with uh, provolone. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do one <laughs> Italian, extra salt, extra pepper. <laughs> uh, like, Hold the mayo, yeah. little oil and vinegar. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you think was that? Like, four sandwiches? No. Look, I eat a lot, and I don't eat. I don't eat four sandwiches in a city. No, not at Literally all. Literally, three or four. No, you, no. I'll, I'll, I'll hit two. Don't be wrong. I'll fucking take down two sandwiches. <laughs> Especially if we're just talking just like square bread, you know? Yeah. Too easy. Uh, easy, easy. Yeah. If, if, if she's making like heroes from every day, it's a different story. But I think that this was a, a perfect opportunity. This was a business opportunity, you know? And they blew it. Now they're just fighting like assholes. Like, it, like I mean... It's not really a business. He could just if, be calm. He, if he could the be person doing calm. all the work, he reaps no benefits. <laughs> like, but that's like, what I mean. No, 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 no. No, if, 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 if he officially goes to work with, like, my wife's sandwiches, like, my wife's sandwiches, LLC, and he's selling them to the fellas on the construction site, and she's, like, hustling now. Then, then, then it's a business, and, then, and and as long as the money doesn't just all go to fast food. Well, if you're bringing home some bacon, if you're bringing home some money for her, and that's going to the new apartment. That that's when you gotta explain to her like, look, babe. Everyone who starts a restaurant, they don't expect a salary for five years. Right. So I'm the employee. Yeah, I gotta get paid. But you're not you. you. Not you. You're the owner. A couple years once we really blow up, then you'll see then a few you, bucks. Then you, get, <laughs> then you get paid back. It is. I just can't believe. I mean, maybe this was just my experience with marriage, but it was like if I if I was ever like, you gonna make me lunch? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, she was working, so I guess it's different. I, I'd imagine if you like stay at home. But like, like I saw a, a TikTok the other day where it was a girl just sitting in bed, and it was like when you get the text from him saying, "I like I I'm, I'm on my way home," and and it's like when you have to stop doing nothing all day to go make dinner, and it's like, man, there are, there are people out here really just doing nothing, <laughs> just like okay, I'll cook you a meal until it's time for dinner, right? I like I make you, I bring you breakfast in the morning, I'll make you dinner when you come home, and that's like, and then the eight hours in between, mm, that's crazy. That would be hell. That would be awful. Yeah, but but I feel like. There are plenty out there who love it. I guess I don't know. Like, I, 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 I be, like it'd be tough for me. I, I know that in, in my, my older age. I mean, there was a time when I was like mid twenties that I was like, I will be a stay at home dad, like gladly. And then I had kids. And then, yeah. and then I became a dad, and I was like, I don't want to do this at all. I want to do I this. You were always, always yeah. beating that drum. That, that was more though. I would still be willing to be a like sugar baby or whatever. I would, I would, I would have a sugar mama. Like I would still be with someone who makes way more money than me. Oh yeah, I, like right, that, right, right. I, and I think I kind of conflated that with stay at home dad. I don't think I realized that that means you have to take care of the kids. <laughs> but if, if if there was no kids involved and it was just like, would you, would you? Uh... But I don't know. Even that, I feel like you know, if it was like, yo, babe, like uh, stay home and like make me breakfast in the morning and dinner at night, and like I go make hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. I think I'd be like. All right, I'll do that, but I also have to do like something else of my own. Yeah, but also I need to find a fucking hobby. Yeah, at least something. <laughs> I, I gotta, I, I, I gotta at least like I need to find up tennis adult, or something. Adult friends. Like. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. Like the true. Or like, do I nothing. just need a Xanax prescription and some right, wine. right, exactly. <laughs> like I just need uh, martinis for breakfast. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, Even that, as an alcoholic, I could not do. No, I'd be like, this is too exhausting. much. Yeah. I, I, like just wake up and start drinking. Like, yeah, I just like, do that on a Saturday or a Sunday. Right, no but problem. like an everyday, but every day occurrence. No, just to like stay level and keep like you know sanity. Uh, that's that's that's, that's called alcoholism. Yeah, you know? that, that's that's. It tough. is between I really enjoy alcohol and I fucking crave and it I to drink get through the it in day. the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. That, that's no always doubt. my saving grace. Where I'm like, I don't ever like find. 
I I was talking about this the other day where I'm like I'm like I'm never like oh I'm sad I'm gonna drink or I'm never like well I'm happy I'm gonna drink I'm just like I feel like a drink yeah that's, yeah 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 that's which is I think, think that's a good keep keep it that way if you can <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try to stay right there and I I, the I feel spot. like a drink more often than people not do, but, but it's <laughs> never used to mask an emotion because right. I know it doesn't work and right. I'm, never, I'm just like ah whatever I got. In the mood for a drink. No, we, we mask our emotions in many other ways. Yeah. Just, just yeah, not with the yeah. alcohol. Like we start a podcast where we say funny things. <laughs> this is my martini. Do, do this you is my Xanax. laugh at tragedy? <laughs> I mean, speak, speaking of laughing at tragedy, I mean, not laughing at that That text you sent earlier this week. Which one? The About the kid... The kids who killed them. Oh, my God. Uh, can we, I don't know if we can do that one, can we? Look, we're not going to say anything about it. We're just going to present I you. Just wanna, I want people to know the story. This story exists. Yes. Okay? I'm going to say it with a fucking straight, straight face. face no, and I'm gonna, and, no reaction. And none whatsoever. No reaction. Okay? Zero. I am not laughing at I'm this. not even going to look at the camera. There's, I'm, gonna there's look definitely, I'm just going to look at the wall. It is, it is just something it's we just, go... It's a fact of life that go, happened. Wow, it's okay. Sad. I terrible. should know this exists. Terrible story. So it is It is a, a brothers, I believe, in mm -hmm. Texas who... Um, it's brothers in Texas who... Um, they killed their whole family. And um, the one of the brothers... And I think I'm getting most of this story right, but whatever. One of the brothers... He put like his manifesto on uh, on Instagram, and he listed the four reasons that he that really everybody had to die. And uh, I'll just I'll just read it to you. On on Mondays, investigators confirmed that the younger brother had posted a suicide note on Instagram, explaining the twisted logic behind his actions. While his Instagram account has been disabled, the note was widely shared online. In it, he details four quote. Very important issues he has encountered in his life. One, difficulty getting help. So that's a serious issue. Two, people not understanding what real depression is. Serious issue. There's a lot of fake depression out there these days. Three. <laughs> the office should have ended when Michael left. <laughs> that was a serious emotional issue for a lot of people. And four, gun control in the U.S. is a joke. <laughs> Justin's like, <laughs> like, like, come the fuck on, man. Come the fuck on. Like, you can't fucking be that funny in your fucking. The fuck on. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's not fair. That's not fair to make fucking stuff like that. I have no choice but to laugh at that. I that, have to. That's not fair. I'm obligated be to. Like, like, fucking three serious issues. And also, <laughs> Michael Lepia. wasn't crazy about the ending of the office. I mean, did you, he went on to further say, like, I know a lot of people think that the finale made up for it, but let's be honest, those last few seasons were shit. Which I completely disagree with. Completely disagree with. In the moment, we've had this take with um, mm -hmm. with Office cast members, and um, I think that the last three seasons of The Office are underrated because this, they're still- This is what it's about, yes. This is what we should be focusing on on the story, yes. There are still really funny people on that show. It's not as good as the first, but if you go back and watch it, it is- it is funny television. In the moment, the shock of losing Michael hurt, hurt and then it sucked. It, it wasn't great. Like, and, you know, yeah. I don't even think I finished it, and I'm an office diehard fan. I don't think I watched season nine or whatever it was. Uh, I stuck with it for a little bit, and then I bailed. But it is funnier, and, and, and this was the problem here. He didn't give it time to breathe because he, he finished it in February. So he, he, he went in a row where he saw the immediate dip. And if he had if he had been like, you know what, I'm gonna go back in a year or two and watch it. And and he'd be like, you know what? Those are funnier than I gave him credit for. I'm not gonna slaughter my family. Maybe not everyone has to die. Maybe grandma lives. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Next time I the asshole. Next time I the asshole. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Five minutes. So anyway, uh Am I the asshole for reading this story about a mass murder in Texas and finding it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we're going to get in trouble with this one. <laughs> it's been a little while since we've been in trouble. It feels good. It's just like that's out of my hands, man. That is, that is that's absurd to put absurd. that in there. I like, 
Like, look, it's a tragedy. It's awful. All that shit. It's absurd to put that in there and, like, fucking it. just Can't show it. it to me and be like, here's a fucking story. What do you think about this? Can't do it. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. What am come, I supposed to say here? As John said, come the fuck on. <laughs> come the fuck on. Like, come on. Come, uh, come on, dude. <laughs> the f just fucking leave that part out. It's too absurd. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> Had it said Thrones... We got we got a fucking we thought we could see with some body cuts. That that yeah. We can see eye to eye here. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Brand, I would kill everybody <laughs> too. You know what? I'm going home this weekend. I got an idea. <laughs> Next am I the asshole? It's getting worse by the fucking second. <laughs> Um, am I the asshole for not answering any contact from work while on maternity leave? I work for my cousin. We're in the same field, but he owns a business. I started working for him five years ago and worked my way up to second or third in command at his fairly small company. I took nine months of maternity leave. Let's call it a year. How about we? I took nine months of maternity leave. Starting two Is weeks. in America? Uh, I'm, say university? I'm looking for an OU, but I have not seen one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to guess America. Mm -hmm. Um... I took nine months of maternity leave starting two weeks before my due date. My child is now six months old, meaning I am currently in my seventh month of leave, and I go back to work in about ten weeks. During the last seven months, there's been a few crises at work. They called me, and I fixed it. They should not have done that. They should not have been doing this due to my maternity leave, but I didn't mention it because these were legitimate crises and crises, and most of the time it was my cousin asking. However, because I'm entering the end of my leave, I want some time to, to be some time completely free of work to recharge before I have to dive back in. So starting two weeks ago, I stopped answering my phone. At some point, it died, so I put it in a drawer and haven't plugged it in since. I have a landline for emergencies, a laptop to keep in touch with people, and a TV for entertainment, so I'm enjoying the break from fo the phone without issue. Okay. However, my cousin tried to call me about a week ago to help with a client I handle. I had passed this client on to someone else, but something went wrong. My cousin called me to help, and because I didn't answer, we lost the client. I knew their contract was up for renewal, but I didn't think there would be any issues, so I still had no reason to check my phone. My cousin has told our family what happened. He's furious with me for not having my phone turned on when I knew the client would be up for renewal. He also says that I should have been answering my I sh that I that as I had he also says that as I had been answering my phone this whole time, I should have warned someone that I would be uncont uncontactable. I have called the client and tried to fix it, but they already signed on with someone else. My cousin wanted to stop this from happening again as several more clients are up for renewal in the next couple of months, has said that I have to be available for the next couple of months so he can call me if there's another issue. I have said that I'm on maternity leave, and therefore I should be left alone, so I will be leaving my phone off, and it's shitty of him to ask otherwise. My cousin said that I was being selfish and accused me of trying to fuck him over, and my mother and aunt agree with him, saying if I don't answer my phone, there may be there may not be a company to come back to, and accuse me of taking advantage of him because he's my cousin, as anyone else would have been fi fired over this. I have responded that my cousin can't run his own business without me, then he's incompetent and shouldn't be in charge of an omelet, Ooh. let alone a company. They said that it was uncalled for and told me to switch my mobile on so he can call me if he needs, but I'm still refusing. Whoa. A lot to unpack there. I will say this. You shouldn't have to work on maternity leave. It can't be nine months. Well, a full year is long, but I, I don't, and I'm, I'm not speaking to maternity leave just to cover my bases. I'm already in trouble for this episode. I'm going to speak to vacations, okay? Vacations so are don't exist. Yeah. They're not a thing anymore. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Not in this country. Deal with it. Yeah. Like it's and like, like vacation means you don't have to come into the office. It means you only have to do the absolute necessities. You don't have to do the bullshit. You don't have to do mm -hmm. the fucking in at nine, out at five. You don't have to do all that shit. Like, but you are responsible for things. Yeah. And like, if it's, I I, I don't know. Maybe it's just our. I guess it's our generation. Like I know my dad when we went on vacation, motherfucker left his phone at home. Mm. That's just insane to me. Like I right. I'm I'm always available. If if there is a bad issue, if there's something bad, something wrong. Something like we need to talk to a fucking advertiser because I don't know we did something crazy with the office. Then like yeah, I'll, I'll, I can I will make myself. Available. I can take a fucking phone call yeah. no matter where the fuck I am. It is also it's tough when she's like I'm hanging out, I'm watching TV. It's like maternity leave is supposed to be like I need to like nurse my baby, right. we need to like raise the kid in the beginning. If you're just I, hanging out while your kid, you're you know, 
your nine month old kid is probably like in daycare now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a little bit different. Yeah, he's practicing cursive in the corner. But the fuck, this, this kid could take the call for you at this point. <laughs> like, what are we doing? But here? like, I, 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 when I say like, it's not even really our generation. I'm sure it's just like. I, way, no, I, I, also, I also think, raised us. I was gonna say it's definitely us, but it's also this country. It's this era. But I mean, you know, you go overseas. It's like, yeah, we take the whole month off. Yeah. We just all shut down. Like we just like, we nap during the day. We, we we take six weeks vacation. We you know. I'm I'm used to being like, yeah, no, you're you're on call all the time, and like, right, yeah. And, but I I also think when it's something like, yeah, we lost a client, so now like everybody's like taking a pay cut or times are worse or whatever. It's like. Just answer a fucking yeah, call. Yeah, right. Like it's, yeah, especially, I mean, if it was, like, work intensive to save that client, but if it really was just, like, just talk to them. Yeah, just smooth this, this thing out. Yeah, all right, just answer. Just also, I feel like it's crazy it's, to just, like, keep calling a phone that's clearly just going right to voicemail and being like, well, what do we do? Uh, uh, we can't possibly get in contact with my cousin. Right. <laughs> We're just going to have to lose this client. Like, I feel like you might have been able to contact her in another way. Go over to the bitch's house and knock on the door. <laughs> but uh, I think I think it's insane to just be like, I'm disconnected from the world. That's yeah. that's not a thing. And no. you can't just be disconnected and, from or, the or world. Or like I mean, if I, I feel like if you want to do it for like a week, if you're like, I'm truly gonna unplug, even then it's probably like uh but you can't be doing it for months. I mean at a I'm time. here, like no matter where the fuck I am, if there's an emergency, I'm here. Like it yeah, like yeah. I don't care if I'm taking a week off, I don't care if I'm taking two weeks off, I don't care if I'm taking a year off. It the, is I, it's just cra- that that the, the time is just too much for me where it's just like I get it, maternity leave, paternity leave, it's important, you should deserve it. But like a year or nine months, like your company can change and like things can be different. It's like, I'm happy you're raising your baby, but like we had to do this, that, this came up, the pandemic happened, blah, 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 blah. And like, yeah, we couldn't just afford to like be a man down. I, I understand that, that side of it too, but I don't know what the answer is either. I guess it's just maybe have your phone on. I'm reading the replies right now. Like everyone is like, he's an idiot. I don't understand what he did. That was so like, it wasn't his account. Right, it's like you were the one who worked on it, and I needed to like. Get, I had get, questions about right. this fucking account that I don't work for. But that's it, it. Gets it's a very you know vacation and maternity leave are very very different. So there's always going to be people who go to bat for you should be able to like raise your family and not have to. But it's also like yeah, but I have to take care of like my business, you know. Yeah, I, I mean it's. I don't. I, I mean everyone thinks she's not the asshole, and I'm gonna but speak. Is that Twitter? Yeah. Yeah. I mean Yeah. <laughs> like, no more no more questions, Your Honor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we know why. <laughs> it is everyone's like, it's not you, it's his fault. I mean, I just feel like the boss doesn't know everything. And like, yeah, I, I probably could. If I had a little more information, I probably could work this out. But your phone is in a fucking drawer dead. Right. Like we're in nineteen eighty two right now. Right. Like just, I just that's not the way the world I works. I just anymore. have a like it, it's crazy to me when like like even like out of off and I guess it's because again we grew up, not grew up, but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I actually literally grew up in this industry where like this industry is a little different. Yeah. Where like you always have to. If be, I don't, if I if I deem or email like like I think even putting on like a like out of office email is yeah. crazy. Right. Like I, I might not reply to you. I used to love like, like it's also different when you like have passion for what you're doing though. Like my my out of office at Deloitte was like I'm out of the office. That's it. You know, like, you should be like, if you need to contact this person instead of that person, you know, here you can reach me at this number. It was just like I am not available right. <laughs> because I was like I don't fucking care. But if it's something I don't even that know it's how like to put on your business, I could. You could give me two hours on a laptop. I wouldn't. No, I don't out. think anybody can do that anymore. Because yeah. like I just won't reply to you if I'm like I'm like that's not important. I right. But if it's like right. I'll tell if it's an important email. Guess it what? I'm it kind of. It. It, it's kind of like being like I'm on maternity leave. You can't talk to me. You know, right. it's like no one speak to me. Like, wouldn't like that would crazy. be hell. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, like oh, I, I love a little distraction. Like, yeah, like I, 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 I don't know about babies and shit like that. Thank God. But the fucking you know, like I don't know. I assume they sleep at some at point. At some point, you can answer and, a couple and, calls. And I'd be like, okay, like I got a fucking and and maybe it's even a day later. Nine months. Maybe it's even two days later where you're just right. like. But I will eventually will talk to you. You find a yeah. ten minute window where you're a little bored. And you're like, you know what? I'd like to do some adult shit right now. Right. And right. I'll just reply to this email. It's not like asking you to do fucking. Like even, labor intensive like, shit. I, I've reached out to people here before, uh, like about stuff and knowing they're on vacation. And sometimes I don't get they don't get back to me, and and I'll bitch them. Like, well, they're on vacation. I'm like, I don't. Fucking the care. fuck does that matter? Right. Just right. fucking. You're now inconveniencing me right. in my life and everyone <laughs> yeah. else here. It's a, it was a question in an email. Yeah. Just fucking get back to me. Just say it. Just respond. <laughs> right. That's it. Or even be like, I don't know, but at least fucking give me an answer. It's crazy. I, I and you know, I'm sure people are gonna disagree with that. <laughs> Oh, oh, wholehearted. <laughs> this one, I, I can't imagine there's going to be any disagreement. This comes from Good Guy 3000. Okay. 
Am I the asshole for telling my step cousin in a bikini that she was looking good? My cousin posted a few pictures on Instagram with her in a bikini. She's 21. I'm 18 and of the opposite gender. It was her first post in a while. I commented that she was looking good. I thought it was a normal thing and everyone was saying the same thing. She DM'd me a couple hours later and we had a lengthy conversation about her problem with my comment. She said she didn't like family members looking at her like that. I responded by saying I didn't think that what I said was all bad. Am I the asshole? She's on a private account and she accepted me knowing who I was. Our relationship was always good and I thought of her as a best friend. I do plan to apologize, but am I the asshole here? Is there something I'm missing? You know what? I don't think he's an asshole. I think he's like a socially like miscalibrated person. Yeah. Like I don't think he, he was I like, yo, little, I want to fuck you. fucking pervert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think he just like is very mixed up. A very mixed up 18 year old boy who's got a hot step cousin. Yeah. Which that would throw me but, into a fucking tornado, brother. But if I'm 18 years old and I've got a hot, I mean, I, I, I got, I got non step cousins that used to put me in a blender. <laughs> if you give me a step cousin, man, I'd be like, well, what's the, where's the line? Where do we really draw the line here, okay? I'm sliding in her DMs, no problem. <laughs> step cousin. You can bang a step cousin. You can certainly flirt with a step cousin. That's what the you fuck you think I went to family reunions for? <laughs> can't do it publicly. You can't be commenting. You can DM her, bro. Come on, step cousin. What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know what step cousin. Uh, step, I, mean, step I mean, literally, I don't know what step cousin. Does that mean your stepmom's siblings' kids? You could absolutely fuck that person. 100%. I, I would think it Le- means. Wait, no, legitimately. What? I've totally come around on this. This guy's oh, totally fine. No, but it's it's not weird to. <laughs> I would think it's weird to. It's weird to comment. Yeah. Well, I, this is it's weird to comment on like a. It's probably weird girl. to say at the pool too. I but. think it's a weird thing if you're just, like if there's a totally not related to you in any way, girl, and you're just like, hey, looking good. Yeah, that's creepy yeah, too. That's true. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so yes. you could throw a like. I think you can slide in a DM. I think the comment is the problem. I don't even throw like. I don't throw likes this. to anybody. Fuck. No, you. I don't. I don't do likes either. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I do likes when I see like a, a friend who like posted something like really nice about their family. Otherwise, I'm like, ah. Eh. Yeah. I, I will watch your videos. I will consume your content. I will not double tap. I don't give a fuck. Or, or subscribe. <laughs> yeah, it's so hypocritical. <laughs> um, but the uh, but yeah, that's the problem. More like, so than I'll, the I, I step cousin situation. I think it's like weird. I think it's it's all it's all weird to comment on someone's body. I guess, but but not mine. It seems. <laughs> Seems like everybody has no problem doing that. <laughs> Seems uh, like we haven't reached uh, the, this, this, yeah, okay, this side of the fucking pool yet. <laughs> Listen to this description. The nephew or niece of someone's stepfather or stepmother, the stepson of a stepdaughter of someone's uncle or aunt, the son or daughter of someone's step. I mean, absolutely not. I mean, as soon as you said or, I was out. Was the nephew or, I was like, ah, nah, I'm, we're all set I'm on just that. Just gonna zone you out can for, for a second. Sure, <laughs> you can for sure bang your step cousin. Yeah, but no you like I, the commenting is weird, and like I don't know, like I'm, I don't think I've ever like I, I mean I'm sure ever I have, but like in the the new world, I don't think I've ever like said something even to a friend like, oh you're looking good. I'll say it to guys, I'll be like, Dude, yeah, what are yeah, you yeah. Fucking doing? But I'm in sex but, these days. You got to just stop. Like, yeah. stop. Look at these people. Also ask. Is it okay to marry your step cousin? Is it wrong to date your half cousin? Is there such a thing as step second cousins? Are there half cousins? Is it okay to marry your sister? <laughs> One of those things dude, dude, is Google, not like the other. Google is like, like it's. If you could just see the Google, like frequently asked questions on Google, it would like be number one. Like, can I put my dick in this? <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. What happens if I fuck this? That's that is the only. Like, it'll be inanimate objects. It'll be your fucking relatives. Whatever. The only thing Google is just fucking so sick of it. Like, dude, I, I don't I don't care anymore. Just fuck whatever Whatever you want (laughs) that should be like uh you know you're feeling dick burning from melon I wish Google could ask questions back. You're like, why do you ask? Just give me the answers, machine. You don't need to know the details of how we arrived here. I know we should have done artificial intelligence. <laughs> Can oh, I man. fuck Google? It's like, ah, fuck again. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do our voicemails, huh? Eh? Yeah. What do we got? Let's go, Jackie. All right. Zach. Nick, Jack, whoever's listening to this, I, I know I have a good question. I fucked up the wording on the last one. I'm the camp counselor one, so just hear me out. I was working as a camp counselor last summer, and I was 
I was trying to get with this girl that I was working with, and I, I shot my shot at the end of the summer. Didn't work out. I was like, whatever. Never going to see this, these people again. Just going to live my life. I thought I was going to get an internship this summer. Didn't work out. Now I'm trying to get my old job back at this camp, and I actually did. Just found out in an email. So what do I do? How do I go back to my old job with a girl who already turned me down? Peace. Uh, just go back to fucking work, dude. Be a fucking adult, yeah. dude. What are, you, what are you talking about, you stupid asshole? Yeah. What? I mean, well, he's working at a camp, so he's a child, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, just That's, fucking that... go back to work and do your job and, like, don't make it a big deal. That is some fucking, uh, what we were saying earlier about rejection. We're, like, so scared of rejection. Like, I think you just you just go back to work. Like, what, have you never asked a girl out in school? Yeah, it's like, you, oh, do I had to transfer because she said no? It's like, sometimes they say no. Sometimes they say and no. And then, you don't know, show up and make her make her regret it or whatever. I don't care, but don't, like, be a weirdo about it. <laughs> or, or just... Like, hi, I'm back at work, and I asked you out last time, but you said no. <laughs> just fucking go back to work and play, like, steal the ca capture the flag or whatever the fuck you do at camp. <laughs> yeah. Steal the bacon. Play dodgeball with kids. Yeah. That's that's an easy that, fucking you, question. You go back, and that girl says, like, hey, how was your... So your, your, your your year off or whatever. It was great. How you like, doing? Like, were Good, you, whatever. Were you like super fucking weird with her or something? Yeah, like right. This? You asked her out. She said no. And uh, I mean, granted, I, you know what? I'm, Bro, if, I'm changing I, my mind. I would go back and I'd be like, who has the audacity as one camp counselor to turn down another camp counselor <laughs> for sex? It's like you're obligated to fuck if you're the camp counselor. Yeah, I, I've been I've been in camp before. That's how it goes. It's, that's how no, that's how it should go. It wouldn't you know? Wouldn't, I, 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 wouldn't, yeah. It wouldn't happen for me. I, I would be. I, I would be go. I'd be going on friendship oh, dates you, with my camp. Counselors. I think. I've, I think I might have told this tale before. But uh, the the female camp counselors used to eat lunch with me, and they would have uh, deep throat competitions where they'd see who could put pens further down their throats. Fucked none of them, <laughs> bro. I think about some of the times that I whiffed on things like that. Like, They'd be like yo, hand me the pen. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. And I'd just be sitting there. Like, <laughs> this is cool. Oh, hang on. I think, I think Sam won that one. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, are you giving it a try? <laughs> fucking, fucking you just sauce, sauce dripping all over my face. <laughs> you, you were the straightest gay best friend ever. You were the original. You were the OG. Dude, dude I was just like, you know I didn't think. I didn't, like, honestly, and like, it, it didn't cross my mind for over 10 years. Like, to ever even hang like, on, they made, maybe been, I should have made a move. That might have been a little bit directed at me. <laughs> like, like there, there were other lunch tables they could have sat at. They could have just sat together and just done deep throat competitions with just two gals hanging out. And I, I was there just, was a guy involved, and he did nothing. Like, nothing pretty cool, it. guys. Like, you gonna finish that fucking yogurt over there? <laughs> I'll trade you. You wanna trade snacks, dude? I was, I was my, a mentally my... disabled gay person. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dumb? <laughs> These these girls are fucking. Those girls, those girls, absolutely. Like you, you got up to go back for like seconds at camp, <laughs> and they were like, "This guy's either retarded or gay." <laughs> I came back. They're both sitting naked on a picnic table, playing with their pussies. Like, all right, can you guys fucking spread out a little bit? <laughs> move over. All move right, over. all right, down. fine. Erica wins this round. Her fucking pen's deeper in her pussy. Can you fucking? I'm trying to eat you. <laughs> Oh man, dude! I, I had a girl. What are you I, doing? You're saying I'm on M and M's. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I mean, you said that you're the king of like missing signs, missing signals, and like, God damn it, do you have the goods to prove it? <laughs> Shit. Lex, stop. <laughs> What's up, guys? Coop from Hoboken. So I went into Warby Parker today, had to get do a return, yada, yada, no big deal. Went to show the guy the address I needed my new glasses sent to, and it was on my phone. So instead of just telling him the address, I just showed him the phone. It was in a text message because I'm going to be staying at a friend's house. COVID safe, whatever. But, uh, the last message, though, from that friend was, how many mushrooms do you want to get? Guy looks at me, looks at the message, looks back at me. And I was like, we can just ignore that. What is the most embarrassing accidental text or accidental thing someone's ever seen on your phone? All right, hang up. Viva. Ah, 
God, that's a that's a fucking good. I question. I would say because I don't have like I don't have anything like a, you know you you were going through my camera roll and like saw my dick or anything like that the most embarrassing oh, people thing definitely for me. see my penis. Yeah, that wasn't gonna be my answer though. <laughs> my 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 most embarrassed is 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 when I have mistexted a guy with like something cutesy for a girl. Like I texted my brother something, you know, hey oh. babe, blah blah blah, and he was like, "We're just gonna pretend this didn't happen. Like <laughs> we'll just keep it moving." I was like, "Yes, thank you for that." Speaking of, what the fuck was your thing? Yeah, you texted something to the group that was like something about oh. just a caps lock, like, like I, I, I'm i drinking was, so much I can't get my awesome. dick hard or yeah, something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, capital locks, uh, text to the group, getting blackout drunk and not having to worry if your dick's going to work or not. <laughs> Yesterday, 4.16 p.m. That was, I was trying to, it was like one of the things that you guys said, and I was trying to <laughs> caption it. <laughs> I was here for all this. She first texted her friends the promo where you guys were saying that. <laughs> and then yeah. tried to text her friends in the caps lock to like make it a joke. <laughs> Sent it to us in the group. Just and a, was just a comedy down. of errors. It just <laughs> melted down. It was, down. It was the amazing. Promo was like was like like going home with the bros or like or whatever it was, or it was like going home with the girls. My friends were like, You work for the Dear Shields company. <laughs> <laughs> They right. That, that should be that should be the tagline. Barstool Sports, the douchiest company. Um, I've definitely had that one. It's a spooky ghost picture with like I think it's like a Downton Abbey actress <laughs> with just a penis in her eye. I know exactly what you're <laughs> it's a funny ass picture. That's tough. To that was exactly one where it was just about. like. Cause I that, when that first popped out, I was sending that willy nilly. <laughs> I was just sending that. It's just you could have just opened, like a microphone. Pff, right here, pff, you right could have opened eye. my text messages, and that was the last text I sent to everybody, Ten including people. my grandma. Like yeah, it was just like you guys got to see this. This is unbelievable. I I must have sent that picture to three hundred people. <laughs> <laughs> That's federal crime. All of my friends. Federal crime. All, all three hundred of my best friends. <laughs> it was like I was like this is unbelievable. This is just, <laughs> like this is just a, a penis in an eye. It's like he's trying to, to poke her in the eyeball. To, it's a, I was going to say skull fucker. It's just she's alive and a human with eyes in. <laughs> you are in trouble this episode, man. Why? That was not bad. I know. It's funny. It's funny that <laughs> skull fucking this chick is not even going yeah, like, right. to make it. Shit, it's a live one. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Last voicemail. It's brought to you by Truff, the luxury hot sauce brand that is sweeping the internet. It's truffle infused hot sauce. So you it's get like that. A, like a, Watch her necklace. Dude, this is box. like this is like the fanciest thing that like I have. <laughs> period. Uh, so you've got the black truffle, if that's your scene. You've got the white truffle, if that's your scene. And then here we've got the hotter sauce, which is black truffle, but with some extra kick to it. So whatever your preference truffle-wise and whatever your preference hot sauce-wise is, you can get down with the truff. Uh, it comes in this nice fancy box, gets delivered right to you. Uh, nice solid like glass bottles, so it's high truffle? quality. Well, you know what? We're gonna dabble. We're all about harmony here, okay. black and white. So, uh, got a little. The, this is the black truffle is like your typical like orange, uh, hot sauce uh, topping. This yeah, has this a little more of the brown. Of, yeah, I'm gonna jump. Oh, guess what? Well, now quick. I'm switching over to the black. All right. Oh yeah. You know what? It's clean. It's oh, this one comes out. <laughs> oh, like a horror game. <laughs> well, let's do the hotter sauce then. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. You know what? Ah. You know what is good about this? This is hot. This is good sauce. This is also, I like hot sauce that's not just hot. When it's just like, okay, you just made my, my food super spicy. Great. When you have some taste to it, that's what I, that's what I appreciate. This does have a little bit of an altering appearance to it. Mm. It's, 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 it you know, I'm going to say it. It spices things up. <laughs> Truff <laughs> sauce. It spices things up. <laughs> All right, mm. you're gonna. You are a little bitch about this stuff, so you're really no. Hard. I'm good at this. I, I like spicy food. Well, yeah, apparently, yo, I got called a bitch for having literally the hottest hot sauce in the world and finding it hot. Well, it we, was it was literally so the hottest that, hot sauce. That, in the world. That's what I mean, though. Those are too much for me. Where it's just like, ugh, this is this is not enjoyable. See, I can do that though. Oh, I don't even think this is as hot as the white trouble. I like, like spoiler alert, the hotter sauce is actually more enjoyable and a little more easy. Than the regular one. Yeah. This one definitely easier. Oh, ham. Mike kicks in a little late. Mm hmm. 
No, um, I'm in. The hotter. I hope everyone loves us fucking chewing into the microphone. My official, uh, my official rating here, hotter sauce, is the best of the three. Yeah, yeah. I like. I like the. I'm gonna go, um, black truffle, white truffle, hotter. All right, I'm gonna go hotter, black, white. So go to, uh, go to uh, truff.com. Use code KFC. And you'll get 15% off. Pl- oh, it's, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's coming now. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, it's got some punch. Yeah. It's got some kick to it. It doesn't help us a thousand degrees in this goddamn studio, Always. too. Always. Nope. Mm-hmm. Always. Truff.com, code KFC, 15% off, plus free shipping. I'll do you'll get one. that fancy box sh- sent more. to you. He gonna do one more. He gonna do one more. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm watching Air Force One right now. Harrison Ford, president. Great movie. Uh my question is, who do you guys think is the best fictional president? You know, Ford comes to mind from this movie. Um, I'm awful with names, but Independence Day, the guy that plays president there. Uh, I also thought of the guy from 24 in the earlier seasons. Yeah, I mean, he's naming the uh, insurance commercials. Uh, yeah, just want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, he took all the good ones. It's President Whitmore. It's President Palmer. It's it's Harrison Ford in Clear and Present Danger. Martin Sheen in the West Wing. Yeah, I mean, it's, just just because name's Jared, 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 Jared Yeah. Um, the the fuck. Who was I going to say? Morgan Freeman in that the, the, one of the meteor movies. M- Morgan Freeman in all of them. <laughs> um, the uh, fuck. I can't remember his name. What movies? It? You know what movie? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they haven't. They haven't done the president yet. They'll get there. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to open just this fucking hand. It is unequivocally. Oh, it's it, you're gonna say Olympus has fallen. That that shit, right? President Benjamin Asher. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> President Benjamin Asher is a badass motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Who you know he boxes at Camp David. Sick. And then let me see him again because I can't picture him. It's Aaron Eckhart. Yes. Okay. Aaron, um. Yes. It is uh, Harvey Dent. Right. And uh, you know his wife dies. His wife is fucking what's her name. Famous in half a scene, like you know, it's yeah, like she's in it's one of those things where it's like, why did you even do this role? Yeah, it's um, excuse me, what's I, your I name? think that's just strictly for like billboards and oh, promos. it's Ashley Judd, Ashley, she's, Ashley she's Judd whacked right away. Sorry, sorry to spoil this movie from two thousand five. I think yeah, uh, Ashley Judd dies in the first scene. <laughs> like, like, that's that, a big name. That's to some die Ryan, that's some Ryan Phillippe shit. I, I think they're like, we just want to have a third star on the promos. And then you you don't you have to work for one day. That's it. Yeah, I, that one. My my parents watched that show. They yeah. said it was they they very much enjoyed it. Yeah, but there's like there's a few flashback scenes. And that's it. Yeah, they, it was really just like that one day of work. Yeah. Love it. Um, All time mail time. But uh, and like I mean, President Asher is not not just a a dedicated public servant, but also a badass motherfucker who just like I mean, in in Olympus has fallen. He's pretty much like he's he's pretty like you know he's tied up most of the time, but he's saying he's all oh, goddamn Kev. He's fucking right. They're torturing people because they're trying to get the fucking Severus code, uh-huh. and uh-huh. so they can launch all the nukes just in the fucking ground mm-hmm. and just annihilate America. Uh-huh. And he's telling everyone because they're torturing fucking joint forces. Mm-hmm. They're torturing secretaries of state, and he's going, give them your code because mm. they're not going to get mine. <laughs> he wouldn't give it up for nothing. Not, nothing. not for nothing. <laughs> not and then nothing. they go to London. Uh-huh. Oh, baby, in London, what happens? London, every head of state gets killed. Love All of them. them. <laughs> All of them. All of them. All of them, Kevin. Fucking presidents from everywhere killed. Not, 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 not President Asher, baby. President Asher and fucking <laughs> <laughs> Woody Woodpecker out here. <laughs> President Asher and Mike Bannon run shit. Run shit over there. Asher's got guns. Asher's got grenades. Asher, and then guess what? And then guess what? When they're fucking trying to cut his head off, uh-huh. he doesn't even cry. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking it's actually really funny that I love those movies so much cuz I saw a tweet the other day that was like uh that was like um I think it was it was a uh, announcement that uh, all Chinese movie theaters are now forced to air I think twice a day or twice a week I forget like Chinese state propaganda films. <laughs> and and someone quote China's so fucking whack. Well, but here's the thing, trying to someone quote tweeted it was like, "Yeah, that's so fucking weird." 
And then it was just like, like all our movies. Yeah. And it was just like the CBS rundown of the yeah. day. And it's like FBI, SWAT, yeah. FBI this, and CIS. Right, like right, uh, right. all like propaganda. And for someone who finds all of that so silly, you love it. I love it you so love much. It. But I think like like I think the like war like like this is these movies are true war porn movies. <laughs> yeah. Where it's just like like dude, there's a war scene, hawks love them. There's a scene where fucking Mike Bannon is beating up a Muslim terrorist, <laughs> and like. He, it is like laugh out loud. Like I'm sure there were fucking people who just like fucking come into it, but like I think it's like it's like I'm like it's laugh out loud funny. Where he's like, and do you know what the problem with you is? Like you like we're not a fucking person. You can't kill us. We're an idea. Yeah. We're America. And he's like go left, right. But, man, like it's obscene. But I'm like get him, Mikey. Get America. Him. <laughs> get that <the> terrorist. <laughs> But I, I think I'm at least a little bit smarter than the average person, so I can separate the two and be like, "Oh, this is absurd theater." Yeah, it is. It is but, funny that I, I, you, your your movie preferences are wildly different like, from what you what you from believe my in. Political yeah. views, yeah, but which I, probably should be the case. Right? Yeah. Probably should be the case. <laughs> probably should not be shaped politically and socially. Yeah, like by Olympus is falling. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we should be. Right. Take notes, America. Like, be more like John. Okay. Which is a scary fucking thought. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Grandma's gonna die tomorrow. <laughs> we have not yet put out the, the Rat Family vacations because these motherfuckers have not hit the 60,000. That's all you gotta mark. do. You and just gotta hit no, the fucking button. No, you know what? At this point, it's not enough to be um, anti-subscribing. No, it's not enough to not subscribe. It's not enough to subscribe. You also have to be anti-not subscribing. Ah. You have to tell your friends to subscribe. Like to spread tell the word. Mom. Tell your mom. Tell your mother. Tell your Fuck friends. Up everybody. YouTube algorithm. Everybody. Fuck people subscribe. you hate in particular. Fuck yeah. up their algorithm. Yes. So break it. Hack their phone. Subscribe. A little cybercrime. Subscribe. Subscribe. Boom. Done. Then we get to 60,000. Then you get your rat family vacation. And then we can take it, you know, to the next level, which apparently we're going to have to up the ante. It's going to be like, I don't know. Uh, well, I'll chop my fucking dick off <laughs> when we hit 100,000. BME, uh, Pain Olympics, oh, 70,000. We'll do Pain Olympics at 100,000. 100,000 Pain Olympics. Our own variation of it. Subscribe. Tell your friends.